Look, our friends are in there. Our friends are in there. Say hello, friends. Say hello, friends. We're going to say hi to the friends. No, you're not what Bubby's doing, aren't you? Look, Ratsy, right, say hi to the friends. Say hi, friends. <laughs> he's like, I'm busy. I got to go see what my bub's doing. Because I know he's doing something important. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you got something him needs to eat? <laughs> Hi, Tammy. How are you? Unsweet tea. I could live on unsweet tea. Well, that and jelly beans. Hey, Barbie. <laughs> well, Tammy gets the gift then. <laughs> Tammy was first on my screen. So it is hot here. We have, we're under a tornado warning. We're used to that. We live with those. <laughs> so anyway. Hey, Buttercup. How are you? Yeah, my baby. He was, I had carried him in from outside. I'm good. I'm real good. My hair is wavy, and I got to decide if I'm going to get it cut off or if I'm going to leave it short. I mean, leave it like this for a while. May leave it like this for a little while, but it's starting to get hot, and it'll get hot on my neck. Y'all know how I get. So, anyway, so we have a lot of goodies. If you didn't see the preview, I shared some beautiful things with y'all earlier. Hey, let's um, pull one of these. I'll show y'all this. This is one of the things I've been working on. I've been working on Mother's Day cards. I have an order for five Mother's Day cards. So this is a little vintage looking print. Give Barbie a free gift. I give Barbie a free gift every time I send her something. Anyway. Hey, Mike. How are you? Hey, Jamers. Anyway, and then... I decoupage some, uh, I have some napkins that are from Europe that have little birds and flowers on it, and it has a thing on it that says airmail, and it had a stamp on it, a postage stamp, and I, I decoupaged it, and then the little Happy Mother's Day, and then there's a book page underneath it, a book page underneath it, and then these came from that broken bracelet the other day. Hey, Catherine. There is Catherine. Thank you. These came from that broken bracelet that I said I thought I could fix when I took it apart. <laughs> when I took it apart, I was not thrilled. It started going everywhere. So I just dumped it in the um, in the um, box. I didn't get a haircut. This is just what it's grown into. So uh, I just dumped them in the craft box. And so I pulled them out to put them on this because I needed it some roses to go with this so anyway that's what i've been playing with and look at my beautiful beautiful pop-up card is it not gorgeous it's an easter card and uh i got that from phoenix so isn't that pretty so that was so sweet i love it and i've kept it right here so I can look at it every day because I'm usually in here every day, even on Sundays. So, anyway, and one of the things that was in, she sent me some stuff. And if you watch the preview, you know, there was a necklace that I showed. But one of the things that she sent me that was in that, hey, let me show you. Just to give you a heads up, um, that storm system is moving east. So there's a good chance it'll head back towards right so from Paris. So the tornado warning and sirens go off. It's not hitting us. Uh, right. From Paris. Okay. They don't worry about it. I'm not scared. Anyway, she sent me this wooden button that has a horse head in it. And I think I'm going to make a manly card, cut the shank off the back, make the manly card and look and do this. So, so if you're interested in participating in my craft, I'm calling it a craft off on the last Wednesday of the month. I've decided what we're going to do, and I'm going to put an announcement up on the community tab on my channel here, and it will be, I'm, I'm glistening, I'm sweating right there. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a trash to treasure, 
and we're going to take, I'm going to give you some cues and we're going to take it basically out of our trash and we're going to do a collage. Okay. So I will give you some cues of, of some of the things to look for in your trash and something that maybe you can save between now and I'll try to get those up this week. And so we're going to do a collage and, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. And so I will put up the day of the thing. I'll put up the link. And if you wish to join, you can click on that link and come in and join with us. Uh, there's Michelle. How are you, sweetie? I've not been to the booth. There's Triple C yet to get an R&R &R &R and Angie, Miss Prius. And I think I said hi to Buttercup and Tammy and Barbie. And if I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. Uh, and Jamers, I saw Jamers and Mike and Catherine Edwards. I'm scrolling back up to see who I've missed. There we go. Okay. So, uh, anywho, I uh, have some cool things. We're going to get started and we're going to do. And I know y'all probably think some of y'all may think she's so nutty for selling stuff like that. But um, people craft with these all the time. What is a collage? Collage is a lot like what I've done here where you just glue things on, decoupage things onto a background. And you make a picture basically with the things that are listed. So you don't do paper crafts. Sure, you can do it. So anyway, I loved it. It's so gorgeous. Phoenix, thank you so much. So I have a bag of single earrings. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Hey, Sandy Brown. And I'm going to show you, and let's see. This is what the bag looks like. There are some vintage ones in here. We're going to start the bid on this at $2. Okay. It always, it's not all, I mean, you can basically look up, look up uh, collage videos on YouTube. There are some fun ones. So, okay. So, here we go. But you can do a collage on, like, furniture. You know when people decoupage things on a piece of furniture and create a, a, a like, if you were doing a table and you decoupage a top on a piece of furniture, that would be a collage, too. Hey, Lynette, how are you, sweetie? She's in at two. So, this is just a little hoopy earring. We have this really cute glass part earring. And I'll, I'll get to the vintage. We have this one that I told y'all the other day was the atomic earring. We have, now this is actually a pair of earrings. And I just wasn't crazy about them. So I put them in there. I thought all those little silver discs or gold tone discs would make fun with crafting. This one uh, is really cool. A chain link. This one is real nice. I do not know what that stone is in there. Probably a quartz of some kind. But you've got these little quartz beads and a stone there. Uh, an enamel button. Blue. Pretty, pretty. Real reels in it. Two and a quarter. You've got a maple leaf with a, a citrine colored rhinestone in it. We've got... A really nice enameled, that's enameled earring. There are a lot of, uh, those are little stone chips. There are a lot of, this one is a vintage one. Rhinestone with a, I've got, come on, quick. I'm hot. This one here, I thought I was hoping was for sure going to have a match. That does look so, um, not Kate Spade, Scott, Scott. What is her name? Scott. I say Scott. Anyway, I know. Kendra Scott. Uh, here we go. That looks so Kendra Scott to me. We got another little enamel. Trying to get in here to the vintagey. That one's a vintage one. Really cool. That one, I think it's 
stamp Japan on the back of it. Yeah, it says Japan. We're at two and a quarter, I believe. This one is just one of those that people cut out with their crickets. This one here is a filigree. Filigree. Uh, we've got some studs in here. I'm just going to leave them. This one is a really pretty vintage, and it's got some beautiful milk glass beads in it. But it's missing a great big rhinestone. But those milk glass beads are awesome. So that's an easy fix to put a big uh, rhinestone in it. And uh, uh, then you could do whatever you wanted with it. Make it into a necklace, whatever. Uh, this one was real cool. And it had kind of a Kendra Scott look to it too. But no markings. There we go. Okay, hopefully we'll pray that you have a good report. Uh, a shell. Another vintage. Hold on. There's something in it. There. Another vintage earring. And I believe that says patent pending on the back of it. That swirl is real cool. This one is real pretty too. It is really nice and vintagey. There we go. We got here oh this one was beautiful beautiful i don't believe this is vintage it is a clip-on but look at that that beautiful red ruby colored rhinestone and it is a little clip-on in the it's not even shining to its full capacity full ability so the rest of it is a lot of more modern earrings you got studs and stuff like that so uh few rhinestones let's see let me get over here where i can scroll back up we're at two and a quarter with the real real anybody else coming in on this there is actually that is uh like a a bead piece <laughs> we've got Ooh, i forgot that was in there i'm not taking it out although i nearly would have if i'd have seen it earlier today a little uh resin rose a little uh, X with a little dingle dangle heart. Let's see. I see a little AB flashy thing here. A little AB flashy stud. So we're going once, guys, at two and a quarter. Going once at two and a quarter. And this, like I said, this is just for crafty stuff. And I just dropped one. I'll have to fetch out of the floor. Let's see if I got any more laying around. I'm really hot today. I could stand an air conditioner blowing on me right now. This is not an earring, but we'll throw it in. It is three metal hoops gathered together that have a thing to make a pendant. That's a pendant. What is that? Huh. A little chain thing to go now where did there's that one i just dropped that pretty one that i thought was kendra scott oh there's something i dropped too and that one's not oh okay <laughs> sorry guys hi hi jude how are you hey just a second Get my feet turned around. Okay, turn that up to medium. That ought to feel better. My nose was dripping, so I had to go get me a tissue. So we're at two and a quarter. We went once, okay? I didn't get it tight, but we went once. We have, There's the one I dropped. Here is Santa Claus. And here is another earring that, I, 
just a metal brushed earring. And I'm throwing in this great big halite stone. And it is drilled. I believe it's drilled. I think it's drilled. Yeah, it's got a hole right there that'll go through it for, for whatever to craft with. So we're going once, guys. We're at two and a quarter with Miss Angie. Angie, Angie. Hey, you're fabulous uh, vintage jewelry. Welcome to my channel. And if you are somebody that I know by another name, Cindy's adding, yes, I am. Uh, earring, single earring lot. This is a single earring lot. Okay, that storm is going to move east of me that way. So, anyway, single earring lot. It has some extra things in it. Oh, I got one, two, three, four. So, let's see if there's anything else over here I need to add. Oh, we'll add a, uh, add a paw. We'll add a paw. That's cool. That's cool. We'll add a paw in there. And we're going to add this right here, okay? We're going to add this, not those. We're going to add this little picture frame that has the word love in it. We'll add that to it, okay? That's all I'm adding, okay? That's all I'm adding. I, like, I love for you to sell things that you make from my stuff for a big price. I think that's awesome, so... I even like when you sell the things that you outright buy from me for a great price, better price. That's my goal, guys. My whole goal is to provide stuff. We're at two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. We're going twice. If I didn't say that. Can y'all hear the rumbling? Turning that up helped. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four. Three, two, one. Sold to Angie Real Real for two and a quarter. Okay, number one, two twenty-five. There we go. Okay, yeah, I got some things in there. Oh wait, what are all those? Oh, those are old cards. Okay. I was like, what are those? <laughs> okay, I have a really cool pair of earrings here. And uh, these are 90s, 90s earrings. They are clip-on. And they say made in Italy somewhere on them. I think under the clip. Yeah, they say Italy. And they actually have a symbol on them. So let's see what that symbol says. I, oh, no, it just says made in Italy, okay? These are real pretty. But these are, um, hey, Kimar, how are you, sweetie? Anyway, if you are not registered and you want to bid, the email is pinned at the top, but it's Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR, at gmail.com. And y'all, I will do this all night pushing my hair behind my ears because it makes me hot. <laughs> When I'm already hot, it makes me hotter. So that's why I wear it so short. Hot cornbread and tuna mushroom cheese casserole. Fresh out of the oven. Okay, look at those. Are those not 80s, 90s? Look at that. Those little balls are so cool. So we're going to start the bid on these at $2. Starting bid, $2. And I don't usually sell earrings by themselves unless they're just like spectacular but i really like those hey uh Rommel, i have a uh and klein watch but i'm waiting on some batteries somebody is sending me some batteries but i mean i'll have it so for a while i'm not gonna put it in anything so anyway starting bid two and a quarter those are so pretty did I miss anybody? If I've not said hi to you, just say hi to me. Just say hi, Cindy. You miss me. <laughs> I think I said hi to Triple C when she came in. So, so, 
I made, I cooked a pork loin on Saturday night and shredded it up. And I only seasoned it like just general seasoning. I didn't put barbecue on it. I just put onion powder, garlic powder, onion bits, and a little bit of honey. Anyway, and uh, shredded it up. And we, yesterday we put it on buns and put barbecue sauce on it and ate it. And for dinner tonight, I put mine in a, a flour tortilla and ate it as a taco so it was really good anybody interested in these guys it's getting really close to easter really close the jelly bean jelly bean population is going downhill people are buying up my jelly beans and i'm having to eat jelly beans like that are not my favorite kind but I don't eat those great big Brock ones. I just do not have a jelly bean if I have to eat one of them. These are Skittle brand jelly beans. So, okay. I'm going to pass on these. I don't eat peas at all. No kind of pea. I will eat a little green pea if it's in a... My mother-in-law used to make a green bean salad that had a lot of vinegar and sugar in it. And I will eat peas like that in that a little bitty green pea. It's got to be little bitty bitty little sir. Wee 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 ones. Oh, that's good tea. Okay. Let's see. I have a bag of vintage earrings. You can't find Nestle Crunch eggs. Oh, no. These are vintage earrings. And, oh, I was going to say, I'm not sure where I got these. These came from um, Hoarder's Haven. That's where these came from. These are all clip-ons. Let's see how many pairs in here. Nope, there's some screw-on twos. Screws on. Screw-ons. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, looks like eight pairs, okay? So we have this, eight pairs. Starting bid, eight pairs. Let's start the bid at $4. That is 50 cents a pair. 50 cents a pair. Ooh. My guys love purple hole peas or black eyed peas. I'll cook them for them, but I don't even like the smell of them. So, so I'm just going to start... Clipping these all to this. I'm going to clip one of each one to it. Uh, let's see. Of course, I would pick up a screw back. That has to be unscrewed. And I will tell you when I do them. If they're, say, if they're screw backs. Starting bid. There are eight pairs of these. Okay. Eight pairs. And these are vintage. Some of them are like 90s vintage, and some of them are like 1950s vintage, okay? Uh, so, okay, I'm going to show you the first, no, I think I can do this all in one swing. Here we go. These are cute. Angie Real Real's in at four, although I've not showed you any kind of single solid earring yet. She just knows she's going to like them. Although she told me today that they told her she was only supposed to buy pearls and diamonds tonight. These have got faux pearls, okay? <laughs> hey, Darcy, Darcy, I got your package, and you know what? I've not opened it yet. I've been a little bit busy crafting. I have an order for some Mother's Day cards, so I've been trying to do that, get them filled. This one here is one of them that I've made that is real pretty. I will make, she asked for five Mother's Day cards. I will make about seven or eight, and uh, she can pick. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We've got these. They are two-tone metal. We've got this that is a seed, and it is a screw back. 
and I'm trying to make sure what it don't say anything okay let's see there's two more screw backs screw backs are notorious for saying something on the back of their screw okay screw back clip and it is a kind of a green enamel this one is a screw back and I believe this one is as probably like a really truly vintage uh, probably from the 50s. This one is a screw back, and I believe it is also very old. This one is a clip. This one is a clip. Clip and clip. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we have these eight pairs, and I do have all of the matches to that. And we are at $4 with Angie Real Real. So you got some nice vintage earrings there. These here are really, really interesting to me. So here's the match to them. There's the match, although that one's screwed down tight. Let's see if I can find some little bitty bags to put some of these in. Yeah, there we go. And separate them out. So I'm going once at $4, you guys. We're not dawdling to to quote our friend Roberta, we're not going to dawdle. So we've got one pair here going in a bag. It is spring in the south. Springtime in the south. I wore this shirt. Guys, the things that I wear on Sunday are usually the things that y'all see me in on Monday. <laughs> because... That's just how it works. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, we've got all of the little rhinestone ones all separated out. Okay. So, there we go. We're going once at four. Anybody else coming in on these eight pairs? Lisa just sent me my higher information. Let's just pop up here and see what it says. Here we go. And there's those. We're going once at four. Mm -mm -mm. And I have it, Miss Lisa. I do have it. So you're welcome to bid. There we go. You are welcome to bid. There we go. Rascal is doing good. Me and Rascal had a fight this morning. Uh, he thinks he is the boss of his mama. And uh, <laughs> his mama said she he's not the boss. So he tried to show me he was the boss by biting my feet. I have on flip-flops today. And uh, I had my foot on a piece of string that he wanted. That was attached to a spool of silver thread and I was not letting my foot up and he was getting mad and I was trying to get him to drop the silver thread. So, yeah, I took the trash can to him. <laughs> I bopped him with it. I didn't hit him hard. I just bopped him. How does my shipping work? I try to keep to actual shipping as close as possible but my shipping must start at four dollars because where you are i can't ship anything out there for cheaper than four dollars from arkansas but up up like up to eight ounces is four dollars okay hey gianna how are you up to eight ounces final warning on these this is eight pairs of vintage clip-on earrings and we're at four dollars with angie real real uh but up to eight ounces is right at $4, and then we go from there. When I hit a pound, I usually go into a padded flat rate uh, just because I can stuff it in there really good. So, But if we get into big stuff where it would use like a medium flat rate box, which I don't very rarely have that kind of stuff, um, I do try to do pirate ship and keep it as low as possible. And the people in here will tell you that I do keep my shipping very, very reasonable. And I ship very fast. So, thank you. 
Final one in. We're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Angie Real Real for four dollars. Oops, Angie. I almost left some of your earrings out. I'm sorry. You've been mad at me. Well, you wouldn't have been mad at me. You would have said, Cindy, you forgot some of my earrings. There we go. Okay. So I have a beautiful chimney butte ring. I show if you watched my preview today, I actually did a preview. Uh, earring lot. There we go. Have a beautiful chimney butte but ring. I have some pearls. I have amber. Let's see how many people are in here. 21. Let's do this necklace right here that I believe to be a big part of it to be coral. Okay. And I'll show you what I think is coral. There is no mark on this anywhere that I could find. And I didn't even stick a magnet to see if the clasp was. The clasp is not magnetic, but I see no markings on it. Y'all know I tried to touch from, look for markings. I don't see any kind of markings on it. So I believe these right here are coral. Coral. And you've got two sides of those. And then you've got little coral chips in here. And then there are other, here's coral chips. Then these are a stone of some kind that look like they could be maybe a carnelian. I'm not sure. Anyway, these are all either, all of the beads are either stone or glass. Okay, there's no plastic beads in this. This is very long, very long. Uh, your inside loop is about, let's see, 15, 30 inches, okay? 30 inches for your inside loop, okay? And uh, we're going to do the starting bit of this at $8. The Made in Italy earrings. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. You most definitely may. And I said they were $2, didn't I? Okay. That would be number three. Number three. Those were $2. Number three. Made in Italy earrings. $2. Lisa Still. There we go. I got gotcha. you. We're in there. Okay. We have Patricia Miller in at eight. This is beautiful, spectacular, and it looks so springy to me. And here's what I like about this. It's got an easy hook loop, which, I mean, nobody really, you really don't have to take it off to get it on and off. But if you got a big fancy hairdo, you know, and you wanted to, it's going to be easy. Hey, Sharon Catwoman, how are you, sweet friend? So we're at nine. Patricia's back at ten. This is number four, and it is going to be called a coral necklace. Oh, I need a napkin. I brought a bunch in. I'm a sweating. My drink is a sweating. I wonder if that's in the backyard. We're attempting to get the lawn mode before these storms come because we're supposed to have rain and storms for the next three days. Hey, Myra. Oh, it was so many. Yeah, I'll check them out, sweetie. I've been, um, been I have been binge watching crafting videos because I'm in the middle of doing a lot of crafting right now, making cards for Christmas. Oh, and if you don't know this, you only have to go up by quarters in my auction. No dollars are required. It makes dollars make it go faster, but quarters are fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's way past, way past needing mode. Like, it it was, it was it needed mode a week and a half ago. <laughs> so, anyway, if I show, I'll, tomorrow I'll show you a picture of my side yard. My side yard will lose a puppy. <laughs> at least the size my puppy is. We're at 11.50, guys. We have Patricia Miller in at 11.50. This is a beautiful necklace, I'm here to tell you.
beautiful. Hi, Kate. How are you? Guys, for everybody that watched my preview video, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, we're mowing. We mow early around here. Lisa's back at 12. Got any amber lovers in the house tonight? If you saw the amber chip bracelet, it is gorgeous. We're at 13. We have a riding mower. And it won't start this year. We've had um, just a little bit of trouble keeping it going. But it was gifted to us. So Lisa is out. And we are ever forever thankful. And it's probably something very easy to fix. Just none of us are real handy with fixing things. So we're going once at $13, guys. Lisa says she's out. And we say thank you for letting us know. Jude was out earlier. We are going twice. At I, I hear yes. I'm thinking that's Miss Tammy saying yes. She likes Amber. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Patricia for $13. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Patricia Miller. Guys, I've taken to. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I already called sold. I am so sorry. Number four. And Mike, thank you for the birthday gift. You're a little bit early though, but thank you. I loved it. It was very nice. Number four. I've taken to writing the price on the bag just because I have some that like to know when they unpack it how much they paid for it. And so uh, I, it's just easier to do all of them. So, okay, let's do the amber bracelet. Okay. Let's do the amber bracelet. Yeah, I had already said sold before I saw your bid, Mike. So once I say sold, I'm done. Okay, guys. We're going to attempt. Y'all know this is in broad daylight. but oh. There we go. We're going to attempt to show that this fluoresces. But I actually... The videos were air on Good Friday. Okay. I have a doctor's appointment on Good Friday. Okay, so we have some what looks like to be egg yolk amber. We have some what I call just yellow. yellow. We have some of the dark, some more egg yolk. This one here is a, a piece that has uh, is like egg yolk and the other on it. So I want to show you. This is, and this is what amazes me is when they do this and they put it on a stretch bracelet. Why? Why wouldn't you put this on? Let's see if we can. I don't know that it's going to fluoresce for you like this. I can see it, but I don't know that you're going to be able to see it. Of course, it would help if I'd hold it up, wouldn't it? If I could get my thing under the table, but my light's about to go out. It's very good. Very nice. Very pretty. So, starting bid on this. Is going to be fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, guys. If you're a remaker, you could make hundreds of pairs of earrings out of this. If you wanted to just wear it, it's beautiful, just like this. I mean, and it it's a good fit. It don't stretch. You don't see cord there. We've got Gianna in at fifteen. It is well worth fifteen dollars. Amber is a hot commodity right now. People are loving on them some amber. So it's even got a piece of black that does fluoresce. That black did fluoresce real good. Yep, and fluoresce too. So we're at $15, guys. We've got Kathy Evans in at $17. Kathy Evans is in at 17. 
but I mean, like, if you wanted to remake that, I, I swear. Well, let's just say, okay, let's just say you wanted to make some egg yolk ones. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six really nice pieces of egg yolk that you could do. So that's three pairs of earrings right there. We're at $22, guys. $22. Kathy's in at $23. Kathy is in at $23. Gianna's back at $25. See my beautiful Easter card I got for Easter from my friend Phoenix. I love it so much. It's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Pop up. That's a card I've been making this one here. I've been working on it. Letting it dry. And Angie passed out and Kathy Evans is out. So we're going once at 25 to Gianna. Oh, there it is. We're going twice at 25 to Gianna. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we are sold in five, four, and I'm watching really close. Three, two, one. Sold to Gianna for $25. Thank you, Gianna. I'm sure you'll turn them into something beautiful. Although you may wear them like that. Oops. This is number five. Forgot to put a number on it. $25. There we go. Have If you have been around for a while, you know that my first love when it comes to jewelry is vintage. I love vintage jewelry. I love silver too. But I love vintage. It is my very first love. And I find these to be very, very cool. <sighs> My son is out there cutting grass. I told him I would give him some money if he cut grass. The little boy next door cut the front yard. He wanted, he'd come over a couple weeks ago wanting to know if he could cut my yard. Told him, yeah, but then he never did. So we started doing it ourselves. Then he saw, he ran over and wanted to know, could he cut the front yard at least? <laughs> so I let him cut the front yard. I gave him $10. I offered to cut my whole yard for $10, okay? <laughs> I said, no, it's worth more than that. I'll give you more if you'll do it. But the backyard really needed Jared to do it because there's so much junk out there that he has to watch out for. Okay, these are faux pearls. They're pink. And then you have these little rose beads. These are clip-ons. Starting bid on these is going to be $4, guys. $4. Aren't they pretty? You saw these in the preview today. In the preview. Okay, i got to put the jelly beans up because I'm going to end up with a belly ache. Hmm. I'll show you those again. Let me put these up. Put them in the drawer and shut the drawer. Then I'll have to at least open the drawer to get to them. <laughs> Y'all know me. I will have that drawer open before the night's over. They're stone. They're a stone of some kind. Um, I believe an agate of some kind. Yeah, you bought all three of them. They were three stone necklaces. Clay colored brown yep you got one you got three and um miss patricia got one and then i had somebody else ask for one I had to tell them i'd sold them all to y'all so okay starting bid on these are four dollars these are vintage 
clip on. Here we go. Nobody. Okay, I'm going to pass. I'm not, not dawdling. She's not dawdling, she says. She's not dawdling. Here we go. How about this? Speaking of pearls, let's do some pearls. We're not going to do the 14 karat gold pearls, but I got pearls that are not 14 karat gold. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Patricia was in at four. Okay. We're going once at four dollars. Going twice at four dollars. This is number six. This is going to be our final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Vintage earrings sold for four dollars to Patricia. Thank you, Miss Patricia. So I got three bags of jewelry that I need to go through. This is four dollars. There we go. <clears throat> okay, I got pearls. Now I, if you watched my haul the other day, you saw me show these. I nearly threw these in the craft thing because look at this. Would you not think that's just a mess? But these are these are stamped sterling and they test as sterling. And when I saw that those were stamped sterling, I started looking at the little pearls. The little pearls are real. Okay. And these are little amethyst chips. Now, let me show you how this is. It almost looks like they're glued on, but they're not. They're knotted on. They're knotted. The pearl is knotted on each side. The amethyst chip is knotted on each side. Let me see how long this is. This is right at 18 inches. I don't want to stretch it real hard. Somehow they put in this, uh, this ziggy zaggy thing, which I find highly interesting. Anyway, and because, okay, these are sterling. This is sterling. Starting bid, because I was going to throw these away. I'm going to start the bid low on these at $8. $8, guys. These are real pearl, real amethyst with st sterling silver findings. Here you go. $8. And they are 18 inches long, but I feel like they would stretch even further. We have Patricia Miller in at 8. Patricia's in at 8 first. We have the real, real back at 10. Deep fried scorpions. Well, that's odd. Number 7. Um, 925 Pearl and Amethyst. Close. We are at $10. Kathy's back at 11 My phone just squawked at me. Patricia's back at 12 Look at that. I don't know how to tell if it's real tortoise shell or not. It has a smell. But anyway. $15, guys. We're at $15 on this. Kathy says she is out. The real rules in at $15, you guys. Oh, that's good. Unsweet tea. Patricia's back at 16, and I'm wearing my turtle. Somebody sent me this turtle. Who sent me this turtle? Does anybody know? Real Real's back at 16 and a quarter. Who sent me that turtle? Somebody sent me that turtle. But I really like this turtle. He's one of the ones. He's one of the wearers. I wear him. <laughs> you made fresh squeezed lemonade. That sounds good. We're at 16.75. This is going to be number eight. Number eight. 
you are a real real housewife aren't you seventeen dollars she's at seventeen dollars i've cooked more in the last two weeks than i've cooked in the last three months i've been making menus i didn't make one for this week yet but i've been making menus two weeks in a row i need to go ahead and make my menu for this week so that i we're at 1850 so that i don't not cook so 20 we're at 20 dollars, guys just remember when you buy this and you get this don't think oh my gosh it's garbage it isn't it's got silver okay <laughs> you're proud of me for meeting those goals so anyway easter is coming we're having a big easter meal and a big egg hunt a drama i do not have children's church on easter easter and christmas sunday are the two sundays i do not bring the kids to the back i leave them out front we have a, a drama every one of those and so uh, we leave them out front because some of them participate so uh angie just passed out so we're going once at 21 dollars, guys we're going twice at 21 dollars. twice at 21 dollars. Final warning, final warning, and we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold for twenty-one dollars to Patricia Miller. Thank you, Miss Patricia. So here we go. This is number seven. Actually, I wrote on this number eight, but it is number seven, and it was twenty-one dollars. There we go. Later about an Easter drama. We have uh, David is quite the actor now. Now that he has the brain injury, he doesn't so much. But uh, before he was in nearly ever drama that we've ever church we've been at put on. Uh, he's a very good actor and he's very convincing. But anyway, but uh, uh, so I've always worked behind the scenes, helping with costumes or running the the overhead projector system or stuff like that i'm not much on acting myself <laughs> i don't act <laughs> so okay i want to show y'all something if you wonder is it ink it's a bruise last week after we got done with the auction i accidentally was walking real fast past my dresser and bumped that and then i got my rings got in my finger and made big bruise on my hand so I'm a little accident prone. So, anyway. Here we go. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. These are Japan. They're vintage. Very, very nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, sad news today. Our uh, neighbors. Y'all have heard us talk about the big fat cats that she had. Her Marley. Yesterday when we come in from church. Her Marley cat was up under our bushes and he wouldn't raise his head or or anything, wouldn't hardly move. And when she tried to stand him up, his legs wouldn't hold him up. And uh, she said he was really old. Anyway, he passed away during the night last night. So we're real sad because we loved Marley. His name was Marley. These are Mark Japan. They are glass. And they are vintage. And they are cut. Look at this. How springy is that? That's a lime green color with darker green and some little oranges. Very pretty. These are a peridot color. Very, very pretty. And let me just tell you how long they are. They are, the inside is 15 inches, okay? Starting bid on these is going to be $5, okay? Hi, Kim VZ. How are you, sweetie? Where we go? Where we go? Where did it go? Five dollars is the starting bid. Okay, I know I had it. Not losing my mind. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. There it is. Uh, Real Real's in at five. Sorry, guys, if you hear the re weed eater, the little boy next door is weed eating, finishing up his part of the yard. So, anyway, his mama is supervising him. So, 
anyway we've got the real real in at five these are really pretty guys and look the little this little thing has little flowers isn't that cool has little flowers so Japanese green glass beads. Anybody coming in at five and a quarter? That's what I'm looking for next, at least. Minimum of five and a quarter. These are beautiful. They are vintage. 15 inches is your shortest length here. These are so springy. If you've got a little bitty neck, these are just so springy. They make me think of Easter, actually. That's why I brought them, and I've had them for a while. So, okay, I'm going once at $5. All right, I'm going twice at $5, guys. Going twice at $5. This is my final warning, final warning. And we are sold in 5 four three two one sold for five dollars to angie real real and this one is number eight for sure five dollars thank you angie Whew. there we go okay let's see how about, let's do this. Those are very pretty, weren't they? Sorry I missed your craft along. I was working on working on a card and working on a, a getting ready for this auction tonight. <clears throat> Sorry. My throat is wanting to. These are Premier Design. Let's see, 12. Seven. We're up to 19 inches. Premier Design. Who what? Who uh, Kim VZ? They she sent me an announcement this morning that they were doing a craft along her and Kristen, and I missed it. Although actually, I was up. I got up real late too. So these have a Premier Design hang tag here, right here. The Premier Design, and. Uh, they are silver tone, and they are not symmetrical. Y'all know, y'all know that's one of my hangouts. The beads are not put on symmetrical. Okay, starting bid on these is going to be four dollars. Four dollars. Premier Design keeps their resale value, their resale value really well. Um, this one's 19 inches. But see, they're not, you know, that messes with my little head. Y'all know that. It don't take much to mess with my little head, though. You know that, too, don't you? Oh, let's sell these beautiful. And Klein. We're going to sell this as a lot. Somebody's messaging me. I heard them. We're at $4, guys. $4. Ooh, those are pretty. Angie, I love those. I love those. They're gorgeous. We've got a, uh, Kim Veazey in at four on the Premier Design necklace. And I'm just standing that right there. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. You can do it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I have faith in you. There you go. I need to find my other thing. I've got one that stands up better. I, I'm picking up my phone if you wonder what I'm doing. Hey, Elizabeth. How are you? Okay. I'm picking up my phone so I can show you all this picture that Angie just sent me of a pair of earrings she made. 
And these are made out of bumblebee jasper and sterling silver. Those are gorgeous. What are the little yellow stones above them? Do you know? What are the little yellow stones that are above them? We have Kim VZ in it for. I'm good. I'm good. I've been crafting and playing with jewelry. And I've been doing a lot more crafting than I have been playing with jewelry. <laughs> and uh, because of that, I have four, three bags of jade. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. And if somebody was interested in buying them, how much are they? <laughs> or have you already sold those? Or are those your own? So, we're going once at $4. Going once at $4 to Kim Veezy. We're going twice at $4. Twice at $4. Final warning, final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold for four dollars to Kim Veezy. Thank you, Kim Veezy. That was number nine, Premier Design Necklace. Four dollars. Kim Veezy. Okay, guys, check Angie's site. She has a, a, a Facebook group and a um, and a YouTube. Okay, so we can't do this together. I was going to do these together, and I need to. Um, okay, let me put this back because I can't do these together because they're. Mix met it would be mixing metals. <laughs> Hi Polly. How are you? So we have this really pretty pair of lever back and Klein earrings still on the card. They have an original price tag of $35 on them. Okay, they came from Macy's. Came from Macy's. Starting bid on these is going to be make sure everything's here. Pretty sure it is there. Make sure it's all hanging like I want. Starting bid is going to be ten dollars. Okay, these are beautiful. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, which jewelry friend was it? Was it, did you have lunch with Cindy? I'm trying to think about where you are. Was it with Cindy? Oh, Barbara Melvina, how fun. Fun, fun, fun. Guys, starting bid on these earrings, $10. Brand new on the card, $35 originally. I would guess they're brand new since they're still on the card. I shouldn't. They still have everything on them. You have to switch devices. $10, guys. Starting bid, $10. Beautiful and Klein earrings. And y'all know what? I know I said I wasn't going to do these together. So, if I get a $10 bid, I'm going to throw in and add this beautiful and Klein bracelet. It's gorgeous. Okay, it's black enamel. You've seen it before, okay? You've seen it before. It's got the little lion on the catch. Uh, right there. Right there. It's got the little lion on the catch, okay? And, yeah. 
although they're one of them's Sterling, did you finish the backyard too? Did he do all the weed eating out front? Well, that don't. Well, you need to weed eat around back, so. Okay. Hey. Yeah, come here. You should have had a five dollar bill too left. Take it and give it to him. For all that weed eating, yeah, take it and give it to him. Tell him mom said to bring it to him. I'll give you some money tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So we've got Polly in at ten, guys. Polly's in at ten. What a deal you're getting, Miss Polly, because I originally sold that bracelet for fifteen. You should have told him to give it to his mama. <laughs> We're going once at ten dollars. We're going twice at ten dollars. Final warning, if I wasn't lazy, I would have listed both of those on the posh, but I am lazy. Oh, are the earrings sterling? No, they're not. They're Anne Klein, but they're not sterling. They are not sterling. This is number 10. Number 10. Yep. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold for $10 to Miss Polly. Hey guys, there were some of y'all last week. What is my name on Posh? Cindy Loves Jewelry. Yep, Cindy loves jewelry. Or at C and D Lovin. I think you can find it with at C and D Lovin, but it is Cindy Loves Jewelry. Yep. In fact, very fun, very fun fact. I had somebody buy from me this weekend on uh Posh that has been a regular customer here. And I was so surprised. When I saw her email, I knew immediately who she was because she has a very distinct email. And her YouTube name is the same as her email. Let's see. Uh, Ann Klein. Earrings and bracelet. Very good, Miss Polly. Anyway, some of you, and I can tell you who, I did not send invoices to. You love my turtle necklace? Somebody sent me this from the group. Somebody in the group sent me this. And I can't remember who it was. Is this one the one? From last week, yeah. Okay, yeah. Darcy and Alex. I did not invoice y'all last week because y'all only had one thing that the shipping would have been more than the item. So, did not invoice you. So, if you have things. If you are buying from me and you uh, want me to hold your shipping for one week, one week, so you get two Two weeks out of one shipping price, I am willing to do that. But except for my Canadian friends, that's about the extent of it, okay? Uh, I do that for, I do hold theirs for a little bit longer because they have to pay twice as much as you guys have to pay in shipping. So anyway, the cheapest I can ship anything to them is at is at uh, $8.95 and that's the cheapest and for the most part it's usually now that shipping has gone up it's now $9.95 or something like that okay guys I have a pair of what looks like to me to be vintage earrings they are rhinestone they are lever back and they are rose gold okay they are rose gold with um, lots of rhinestones and 
they have somewhere where they've you're kidding me huh. oh y'all there are days that I just want to just say all kinds of bad words because I've dropped so many stupid things there they are went up the under the edge of the trash can <sighs> which is why my floor looks like it does <laughs> if you if you ever see a video of my floor you will just die <laughs> because I drop beads and I drop pieces of jewelry all the time and a lot of times they land especially beads stay where they land rhinestones too <laughs> okay guys these are really cool. Here we go. Okay. Y'all saw these the other day. Let me just show you a little bit of wear looking on the back. But nobody's looking at the back of your earrings anyway. Okay, we don't say those darn bad words. Nope, try not to. Mm. Starting bid on these is going to be four dollars. There we go. That hurt. Oops. These are real pretty. Jared, Dad, can you turn that down a little bit? Starting bit on these four dollars, you guys. Those are beautiful. And that green is looking more tealy than it actually looks in real life. It looks more deep green here. So, starting bid four dollars on those. Nobody interested in the rhinestone earrings. Okay, I'm going to put them to the side. There we go. I think he's across the yard. Way cutting grass now. Okay, I'm going to put those to the side. Hey, do me a favor. Go get that fan out of my room and bring it and set it right here like I said it and turn the air on in the kit living room. I'm just about to melt. Oh. And if I melt, it will freak them out. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. I'd never heard of this brand, but when I looked it up, the price on these are not cheap. This is called chrysalis c-h-r-y-s-a-l-i-s chrysalis it has no i want the ac on and i want you to put that where i feel it i don't want it just blowing where one more up I don't feel it. Come there. I'm telling you, I feel nothing. If you want it to draw in the air, you want to kind of set it a little more here. Okay. Okay, so it has a little butterfly here. It has a little butterfly. And then it says chrysalis. And these are A, B. And uh, if you can look up their jewelry, it doesn't sell cheaply. 
Um, their bracelets like this sell up around the $30 mark. So we're going to start the bid on this at $5. For the Cresselius piece. And it's a, like a memory wire and it folds over. I love the Cresselius too. Really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like it. This deep AB coating. Pretty. Peacock colors. Very nice. Very, very nice. We are looking for a starting bid of $5. If you want to look that up, I typed in the brand. Cresselius has a butterfly over it. Which I'm actually get, glad it had the butter, the name because there are several companies that use the butterfly and one of them is like real high end. So I'm glad it didn't, you know, I didn't get it mixed up with some of that. So... Okay, anybody interested in the Cresselius bracelet? Very pretty. If not, I can list it on the posh. I have a a bag of stuff to I need to list. Okay, I'm gonna pass on it. So here we go. Okay. If you watched the haul I done the other day, you saw this. I know this is a shoe clip. There's only one of these. But they are, it is a vintage single shoe clip. You can totally clip it to a piece of clothing and wear it like that. Okay. Or you could clip it around a chain and wear it like that. So, I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you the back side of it, too. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to start the bid on this, guys, at $5. Anybody? What is it? It is an actual shoe clip is what it is. It's actually a single shoe clip. See, it has the thing that clips onto your shoe. But there was only one of them, but it's still gorgeous enough to wear by itself on a piece of clothing. And they used to make dress clips and stuff that had this same kind of a fastener, but it is a shoe clip. So we're at $5, guys. It's what we're looking for, $5. Nobody interested? Okay, we're going to pass on it. Okay, let's do a sterling silver piece. Let's do a sterling silver piece. Here we go. We have a size six and a fourth. Okay, this is a size six and a fourth. It is a rose quartz sterling silver ring. And my starting bid is $12. $12. And it is sterling. It is marked sterling stamped. It has been tested. It is a size 6.25. Size 6.25. There you go. Rose quartz. 
There we go. Very pretty ring. Very, very pretty. We've got Raven in at 12. Raven is in at 12. And Raven in at 12. Real Reels in at 12 and a quarter. Real Reels in at 12 and a quarter. Here we go. Raven's back at 13. Thirteen and a quarter. Thirteen and a quarter. Raven's back at 14, guys. This is a beautiful rose quartz. This is actually... That stone is actually three-fourths of an inch long by a half an inch wide. It's a good-sized stone, so, and it's really pretty. Raven's back at 15. Raven is back at 15. We're bidding on a sterling silver size six and a quarter ring. Size six and a quarter ring. Angie just passed out, so we're going once, guys, at $15, guys. Going one time at $15. This is a sterling silver six and a quarter ring. Rose quartz, beautiful rose quartz. We're going twice at $15. Going twice. Raven is getting a deal. I'm here to tell you. This is our final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four. Oops. Belinda came in at 16 before I got finished counting. This is number 11. 925. Rose Quartz. Raven's back at 17. Ring. Raven's back at 17. Hi, Belinda. How are you? Belinda's back at 18. $18, guys. The size is 6.25. Size 6.25. Raven is back at 19. Raven is back at $19. Boo, is it too small? My ring, my rings tonight have a huge swing. We have a couple that are in the six range, and then I have a 10 and a half, 11, no, 10 and a quarter, and 11 and a quarter. So. I have like a huge swing on the rings tonight. So we're at $20, guys. $20. Belinda's in at $20. Hi, Diane. How are you? And Raven is out. So we're going to go once at $20, guys. We're going twice at $20. This is my final warning, final warning, and we're going to be sold in five, four, three, 
two, one. Sold to Belinda for $20. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, Raven. And thank you, Angie Real Real, all of you for bidding. And this is number 11. As it's time for a giveaway. A giveaway, giveaway. Let's see. That is Belinda. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Giveaway time. And I'm going to tell you how the giveaways work. If you've never been here for one of my giveaways, the very first thing I do every night is I give away free shipping. That means even if you live internationally, you will get free shipping. Okay? So, I'm sorry, Triple C. I don't know what are you putting in your number? Uh, hold on. Wait till I say start, okay? You can put it in just a minute, okay? I'm going to say start. There there we go, and I'll explain what we're giving away, okay? There we go, start. Okay, I'll count those numbers there, y'all above me, but anyway. So, we give away free shipping. We get, do two giveaways, okay? And you do not have to be registered with, no, you do not have to be subscribed to my channel, nor do you have to purchase. But if you're not registered and you win something that is physical and I need to ship it to you, uh, I won't know where to ship. So, um, anyway, I, only one number, Texas, I mean, Lisa, you only need one number. So, go back in, go back and pull your extra numbers. You only put in one number, one number only, okay? Lisa, go back and delete all your extra numbers. Uh, you only put in one number, and uh, I will pick a number with the random generator, pick a number through one through a hundred, Okay? And uh, we'll give away two prizes. The second prize tonight after the give free shipping, this one is a Stella and Dot necklace. And I'll pull it out and show you. It has a little bit of wear on it. Okay. There's a little bit of wear. So, um, actually, if you had one of those kits that you dip this, that would be beautiful. Because it's the wear is right here on these big chains. Or you could change out those big chains. But there's some beautiful beads in there. So it's a Stella and Dot necklace. Okay. So let's make sure we only have one number. Let me go back up here. And here we go. that number there we go hey Billy how are you uh you right click on it uh Lisa yeah right click on it and it'll give you the option to remove okay But yeah, you just pick one number. So let's see. I see your first number as being number 16. So is the first number I see you put in. So let's. Oops. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to let you deal with that. Make sure everybody gets your number in.
Yep, one number only is all we need. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're on a tablet? Okay. Hi, Tammy. I didn't see you come in. Hi, Miss Billy. I think I said hi to you. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh, I did not mean to time you out. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's see. Let me go back up here and find you again. Here we go. I did not mean to time you out. I was trying to... This is why I don't like trying to do any of this while I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. There we go. I think... Here we go. Trying to trying to undo this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I did not mean it'll take about five minutes and you'll be back. So, about 300 seconds is what it says. So, anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quit doing that. There. There. We. It looks like we've got them all. Everybody got your number in? I'm sorry, Lisa. I did not mean to time you out. But you got your number in. You'll be back in just a minute. Yeah. Sorry. This is why I don't like trying to do anything because it jumps. Those jump real quick. Okay, here we go. I'm fixing to say stop and then we're going to have all the numbers in and I'm going to give away these. Okay, and stop. You think you sent me the... Okay. I love it. Hmm. Here we go. Pick a number between 1 and 100. We're under tornado warnings, but I think it's moved on through. 47. 47, guys. Let's go back up here and see what we got. Let me go to my... It's easier for me to look at it on my phone. X. Where am I? Here we go. 47. Turn me down. Looking for number 47. Tammy Dowell is 46. And mine is whoever's closest. It don't matter if you go over or under. Okay. Whoever's closest. And 27 to 20. There you go. 24 Phoenix. Okay, it's Tammy Dowell. Tammy Dowell, you won free shipping, and it's good for a month, okay? If you don't buy anything tonight, it's still good until May the 11th. Expires May 11th. Okay? Tammy Dowell, congratulations. Hey, Texas Val, did you get your pack, your envelope with your thing? Did it ri arrive safe? Because they gave me a rough time over that. <laughs> A real rough time. If they'd have just put it on through, it would have been no problem. So, yeah, Texas Val. I was trying to think. Did I? Am I talking to the right person? And hmm. pick a number between one and a hundred. Pick a number between one and a hundred. 
There we go. Number 55. Oh, okay. That's fine. Cool. 55. Let's see. Let's go back over here and see who's closest to 55. Okay. Did. Here we go. Lisa. I'm still waiting to see if Lisa can talk. Uh, 55. Jude is at 50. That's five away. It, I do believe Miss Jude is my winner at 50. That's what I'm seeing. Anybody see anything over closer than that? 50. Jude is my winner. Yes, you're back. You're okay. <laughs> you're back. That was my bad. I did that mess to you. And Jude won this one, guys. Congrats, everybody. Giveaway A. Tammy Dowell, free ship. Free shipping. Jude, you won that last week. Uh, giveaway B. You're getting lucky lately, girl. Uh, Stella and Dot Necklace. There you go. Okay. Jude. Okay, here we go. Let's do this little birdie rig. Go away. <laughs> hey, Dwayne. No, you don't have to go away. Just don't talk mean to me. <laughs> we are at, it looks like 15 inches on this. Um, we have these little uh, shell, mother of pearl, dyed shell birdies, and an abilene heart. And I'm going to, I want to tell you something about this. When I started looking at this, I thought it had filigree on it. But these right here, the dye is coming off onto those beads, and it made it look like it was filigree. A uh, verdigree, not filigree, verdigree. <laughs> Anyway, it's not verdigree, so it wipes right off. Verdigree don't wipe right off, okay? It is the dye off of those beads. I thought this might be silver, but it did not test as silver. Uh, let's do a quarter auction on this. Starting bid, a quarter. Yep, starting bid, a quarter. Remember, you only have to go up by quarters. And, uh, yeah, we're going to set a timer. Whoever has bid the most at the end of two minutes wins it. Okay, here we go. Go, start. Set a timer for two minutes. Real, real, just jump to a dollar. Set a timer for two minutes. There we go, it's going. Here we go. Set a timer. Okay, the bid is at a dollar, guys. The bid is at a dollar. Belinda's in at a dollar and a quarter. Dollar and a quarter. Is that my, yeah, that's my envelope. My thing. This is number 12. This is a quarter auction. You only have to go up by quarters. You can go up by more, but whoever is ahead at the end of my timer wins. So we're at a dollar 25, guys. A dollar 25. Let's see if I can find that pretty, where is it, right there. I'm going to do this ring next. Real Real's in it too. Real Real's in it too. We are at 45 seconds. 45 seconds left. Belinda's back at two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. And look, I put on makeup for y'all today. You're so lucky. <laughs> We're at two and a quarter. We are at 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. This is it. 11, 10, 9, Six, 
Catherine is at 250. Real Real's at three. And Duke. Real Real wanted at three dollars. Okay. I stopped you there. There we go. Real Real wanted at three dollars. She was at three dollars when the timer went off, guys. That's how it works. Three dollars. Number 12. Whenever the timer goes off, whoever has the most wins it. 12. Let's see. MOP bird. That was three dollars. Angie the real. There we go. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sell it to Belinda. <laughs> you won it at three dollars. Quit bossing me around. You people boss me around all the time. <laughs> okay, guys. I don't want to pull all these out. I will show you. There's a bunch of bangles. But there's also a bunch of other kinds of bracelets in here. Uh, did I mark even on how many is in here? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 15 bracelets. 15 bracelets. This is a buy it now, buy it now, and I'll tell you what the price is and what word you need to say. The price is, there's 15 bracelets, so the price is $4, and I'm typing in your word right now. Word is, your word is gourd. I don't know why your word is gourd, but if you want these 15 bracelets for $4, type in the word gourd. One, two, three. Catherine has got, she's close enough to gourd. She's fine. This is number 13. Uh, bracelet lot. $4. Catherine Edwards. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There's a joke behind that, okay? There is a joke behind that. I will tell you the joke, okay? David says to me a lot. He'll say, go, go ahead or go to head, go, something like that. He'll say, go ahead. And I'll say, don't call me a gourd head. <laughs> well, anyway, he'll say, go ahead, and I'll tell him, don't call me a gourd head. Okay, guys, so that's the joke, just the inside joke between me and Dave. <laughs> this is a, we're looking at 9.75, 9.75, this little cross ring. This ring is marked 925 when I scratch it. It looks like 925, but when I put acid on it, it turns blue. I do use 18 karat acid. I do not use silver acid. I use 18 karat. It turns blue like they're supposed to, but then it fades away. So I think it's silver plated. Okay. But it is marked 925. So starting bid on this ring is going to be $7. $7. It is a size. What did I just say? 9.75. Size 9.75. But uh, uh, after I... Remember what the story I told y'all about making sure you had good lighting when you buy things? <laughs> Not to be children of the darkness. And uh, Willow told me to put a light on my, have, take a light with me. I have a light on my phone. But I left my phone in the car that day. So <laughs> I'm not always, I don't always have it together. What are we bidding $5 on? Why is she at $5? Why are you at $5? You're lagging real bad, Kristen. I don't know what the last thing I said was $5. We're bidding on this ring right here for 7 There we go. Kristen is in at 7 Kristen is in at 7 first. There we go. $7. Boy, my napkins got really wet. Chris is in, in at seven. I see you, Michelle. She just beat you, sweetie.
If you were not here earlier when I was showing what I've been working on today, crafty wise, I will show you what I've been working on. I'm a, I'm a. So, you know, all these people are, well, you don't know this. You may not watch the same kind of videos I do. They're working on these glass mats. Hold on, I'll show you. Uh, I found me a glass cutting board. And, uh, yeah. So, this is the card I've been working on lately. Oh, you were telling in there it was $7. So, this is over here. This I guess she was a multimedia card. Uh, you've got a book page under it. You've got a piece of a napkin that is, um, you've got a piece of a napkin that is decoupaged on, that is from Europe. You've got these rose beads, and then this little thing here, and you're there. So, anyway, here are, here are the other ones that I've made. I, I have an order for Mother's Day cards. So, here's that one. Here's that one. You can can you see the rose in that? It's got a rose in it. Here, the rose. Well, there's actually two roses. And then there's actually a rose print in this button. And then this is that hummingbird I colored the other day. And that looks it looks muddy, but it doesn't look muddy in real life. It don't photograph very well, but that's the hummingbird and I put I put sparkle uh, embossing powder on it and heated it and it all sparkles. So anyway, so I'll make about seven cards for her to choose from and she can choose. And then probably the rest of them I'll either offer here or take to my booth. So anyway, I love making cards. So we're at $7, guys, with Miss Kristen at $7. Anybody else want to come in on this ring? I wrote on the bag that I think it's silver plated. It is marked 925. When I scratch it, it does turn the blue for just a little bit and then it fades away. So, anyway, I'm going once, guys, at $7. Going once at $7. I'm going twice at $7. Going twice at seven dollars. This is number fourteen. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Kristen for seven dollars. Uh, cross ring. I had to think what we were bidding on. Seven dollars. Kristen Designs. Okay, there we go. Number 14. Okay, here we go. What do we want? Let's do this really pretty blue set that I showed y'all in the thing. So, hold on. Okay. So, we have this really pretty blue necklace on illusion wire. Hmm, there's a A blue and it is 10 20 inches at its longest okay I mean yeah at this shortest thing right here I think let me just make sure yeah. 20 inches at the shortest okay now this has an AB shine coating on it they're pretty they are glass very beautiful very very beautiful they have a pair of matching earrings. Now, I married the bracelets like Barbie had, the little glass bracelets. I had a blue one that I felt like went really well with this. Okay, those are fish wire. And then we have the little blue bracelet that I put with that, okay? I think they go very, very well together. Okay. So we're going to do a starting bid on this of six dollars. Starting bid of six dollars. You're welcome, sweetie.
Okay, here we go. So I've got Patricia Miller in it, six. Yeah, that's a pretty color for spring and summer. I try, guys, when I send you a gift, I try to think of things that I know you've bought and things I know you like or collect. So uh, I don't always know people, I try, but I try real hard to do that. We have, uh, Catherine, I saw your bid, but Patricia was in before you, and now Real Reels at six and a quarter. Real Reels at six and a quarter. Just remember, you only have to go up by quarters. So, but I do try to pay attention to what people like, and so I try to do that. So, but everybody gets a gift in your thing, unless I forget, and sometimes I do get in a hurry and forget, and so then I feel real bad, and sometimes I do a, uh, what is it that Misty calls it, a, a C-section and open your package back up. But a lot of times, if it's a great big package, I won't. I will just uh, put something extra the next time. So, anyway. So, if you get, like, several gifts, it may mean I forgot you the last time. So, <laughs> anyway. So, we're at 650 with Patricia Miller. But, like, I know Patricia collects. She Well, she's trying to rebuild a collection of Sarah Coventry. So, um I try, like, if I find Sarah Coventry, I have included that as a, one of her gifts. Um, uh, I know that um, Angie likes stone stuff that she can take apart to rebuild. And so I've put stone stuff in for her. So I just try to pay attention to what you guys buy and try to give you a gift that I, I know you will like. So anyway. <laughs> I have a pair of uh, a pearl bracelet coming up soon that has a um, has a um, 14 karat closure on it, and it has been tested. So we are at 650. How is the Rassy Man? The Rassy Man is full of vim and vinegar. He is in there watching wrestling with his daddy. He's a mess. There are days I don't even like him because he gets so in my face. But then there are days he's so sweet. I just love him and kiss on him all day. So he's we're at 675. But he's a mess. Now this guy's is a stretch. So it looks like it's a you know one of those that you pull the strings, but it's just made to look like that. We're at seven dollars, guys. Seven dollars. This is a blue set, number 15, blue set. Angie just passed out. Angie just passed out. So Angie is out. So we are between Patricia and Catherine now. We have Patricia at $7, you guys. Patricia is at $7. This back in the bag. Looking here at my poodle I found in something. I'm not sure. I can't remember what I found him in. I think he was in a box of stuff that I bought over at, and you're passing to passing out to Patricia. Anyway, he stamped Japan. Ain't he cute? He's adorable. So. We're going once at seven dollars. We're out to Miss Patricia. We're going twice at seven dollars. Twice at seven dollars. This is my final warning. Final warning. This is number fifteen, and we're sold in five. Four, three, two, one. Sold for seven dollars to Patricia Miller. Okay, guys. Now, if you've been at my auctions very long, you know that I do not charge big prices, big starting prices, unless I pay way too much for something. 
So, but I did not pay way too much for this, okay? Because y'all know and I know that this Chimney Butte mark or Chimney Butt, I don't know how you say it. I would say it like Butte, like Butte, Montana. But anyway, I want to weigh it for you. And then I'm going to show it to you. It weighs 9.4 grams. Okay, 9.4 grams. This is what we're looking at. Okay. This is a Chimney Butte. And I'm going to do my best to show you the marks. Here we go. Right here. I'm going to do my best. Here we go. There you go. Chimney Butte. And then over here it says Sterling. Okay. This ring is a size. Hey, Ashley. Ten and a quarter. Like Miss Cindy says, drop it down. Don't push it. It's at ten and a quarter. Okay. Starting bid on this ring is $35. $35. Maybe I paid too much for it. I don't know, but that's where we got to start. It's $35. It is a beautiful ring. I feel like the last time when I researched them, they sold for much more than that on We've got Gianna in it, 35. Yeah, it weighs nearly 10 grams. Here's one for 88. Here's one for 85, 88. So, yeah, we're looking at a fair price, 100. So, yeah, we're looking at a fair price on this. 35. Gianna's in it. 35, guys. So, 10 point, uh, 10 and a quarter. And because it is so wide, it's really hard. Yeah, it is very beautifully saw it after there so i could wear that as a thumb ring that's really cool but i'm very very uh <laughs> yeah i'm very attached to my band here it was it belonged to somebody that was dear to me so we're at 35 dollars guys so 35 anybody want to come in Remember, you only have to go up by quarters, but if you go up by dollars, it makes it move faster, but quarter is our minimal. We've got Gianna in at 35, y'all. Gianna is in at 35. Raven, come in at 40. Raven, come in at 40. Thank you, Raven. Chimney Butte Ring Sterling. Now, I'm, I would guess, Gianna's at 45. I would guess with it being top sterling that it might be a little bit older, but I don't know that because I haven't studied anything out about it. We have Raven at 40. Gianna's back at 45. Jude, you may have a little bit of a lag, sweetie. I'm not sure. Raven's back at 50. Raven is back at 50. I can't wait. Yeah. What size is it? It is a size 10.25. 10 and a quarter. 10 and a quarter. We have Gianna at 55. Gianna is at 55. I can't wait to find some of the rings that they have that are made with stones in them because they go for big money. <laughs> the Chimney Butte. Anyway, this the the two that I have found I bought from the same man. 
And uh, uh, anyway, so we're going once, guys, at 55. Going once at 55. We're going twice. Oops. Diane is in at 58, y'all. Diane is in at 58. Diane is in at 58. I believe these are, uh, are Navajo. They, they remind me of the stuff that I have that is made, the style that I have that is Navajo. So we have Gianna in at 60. Gianna is in at 60. My ruler's up. Gianna is in at 60. Diane is back at 62. Diane is back at 62. Y'all know I I do check everything that I buy that is silver. I check it all for silver. I did not do any polishing on this ring because it has that black in it. And that black is made to be in it. And I don't want to polish away something that is made to be in it. So I tried to run it around the inside. But there are, st there are still marks on the inside. I mean like dirt on the inside. We're at 62. Like, like. You know what I mean. When I say dirt, I don't mean like dirt. I mean like patina dirt. <laughs> Does that make sense? You know what I mean? <laughs> you get me? We're at $62. They hire northern tribes such as Sioux, Blackfoot, and Cree. And uh, Gianna is at 65 Woo! I feel like I'm cooling down a little bit. Maybe I was having a hot flash. 65. We are at $65. 65, guys. And Diane is out. We are going once at 65. We are going twice at 65. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold to Gianna for $65. Thank you, Gianna. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Raven. All that bid on this. There we go. That's number 16. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, guys. I have... Oh, I'm going to hold on to these. It's a little early. Style with pad is not in here. I have this cute little necklace. Okay. Is it a necklace? No, it's a bracelet. I'm sorry. It is Marina D. Bushy. D. Bushy. And she is sold at, hold on, I will tell you. Her jewelry is sold at uh hmm. I don't know. I thought this said, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't I don't even know if I looked it up to tell you. It is nickel free and uh yeah. Here. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this. What is that? I thought I looked this up. Okay, here we go. I'll show it to you. Okay, I see. Okay, 
here we go. It is an S. It is a little bracelet. It has an S for a name. Let's do a starting bid of $4 on it, okay? $4. There you go. I want to put these back over here. They're some real little pearl earrings that I had put over there. Because I know my friend Miss Pat loves little pearl earrings. Starting bid, $4, guys. Anybody got an S name? <laughs> Look, guys, I'm really wearing the hoops lately. I never wore hoops until y'all. You like that? Thank you, Tishuba. Tichabu. Tichaba. Thank you. I never wear hoops until y'all told me that. And my nose itches. Nobody? I'm gonna pass then. I'll list I'll put it on the on the posh. Put it on the posh. Okay. I have quite a few. I have quite a few uh new things that were sent to me by a sweet, sweet friend. So this one is relativity. And I do not recognize the brand. I'm not sure where it is sold. But it does have an original tag on it. It says $16. Okay. So let's do a let's do a buy it now of five dollars on that. That's a cute necklace. I like it. It's 20 inch. Buy it now, five dollars. And your word is going to be silver. Silver is your word. Silver is your word. So when I do buy it now, I will ask you to wait for a word. So silver is your word. This is not real silver, but it's silver tone. And this buy it now for $5. It has a $16 price tag on it. Would be great for a gift. Especially, let's see. Yeah, if you get, if you get your invoice tomorrow and pay it tomorrow, you would have it by Easter. You could put it in somebody's Easter basket. We don't do Easter baskets at our house. My son is 28 years old. We just eat jelly beans and Easter candy all year round. I mean, all all month of April and March. <laughs> Maybe May, too, if they have any on clearance. But they're not stocking up like they used to. Anybody? Nobody? Okay. I will put it on the posh. Or take it to my booth. Five dollars is the buy it now. Silver is the word you need to tap in to buy it now. Okay, what is that one? Okay. Oh, I have silver popping out the back end. Real silver. Real tin bond wit teller stores. Okay, cool. I don't know those stores, but very nice. What size is this? My son is in there screaming at his Xbox. At twenty eight years old. I'm thinking that is out of line. Six and a quarter. Size so six and a quarter. This one is another one. I believe that is March 925. Where'd, where'd my good eyeball go? There it is. Yes, this one is. Nope. Yes. This one is another one that's marked 925 that turns blue and goes away. I believe it's silver plated. Beautiful little ring. It is a size six and a quarter. Uh, let's start the bid on it. Start the bid at $5. Okay, $5. $5. My ears are itching. Somebody must be talking about me. Are those stores out of business now, Phoenix? The rhinestone is its probably a CZ is what it is. I did put it on the diamond tester, but anyway, six and a quarter, yeah, y'all. You scuss. You scuss. They're all out of business. 
So then does that mean that this is a vintage piece? You missed them? It looks nice. I'm going to regret doing that. I can tell you that right now. Ay, 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 that's tight. <laughs> the ring? <laughs> there you go. Six and a quarter. See that, see that bruise right there on my finger? So... There we go. There we go. There we go. Don't put it back on, Cindy. <laughs> put your own rings on and leave them alone. There we go. Six and a quarter starting twist don't pull. Look how red my little finger is. There we go. It's off. Okay. I'm going to pass on it. <laughs> so. I do not know how to, I mean, I know that you can, my nose itches, my nose itches, there we go, I know that you can, uh, oh, there are like hot water tests and different tests, I don't know how to test for tortoise shell, I know that tortoise shell has a different smell to it. And a different feel to it. So we're going to do something a little different here. <laughs> I have, let me find it. Here it is. So I have this. I don't know if it's tortoise shell. I do know that when I get it hot, rub it on my clothes and get it really hot. Of course, I don't have jeans on today. It just has a different smell. Okay. So we have this little bracelet, okay? I don't know what it is. But you're not buying this little bracelet. You're going to receive that little bracelet if you buy this little bracelet. And this little bracelet nearly got thrown in the trash until I felt how soft it was. And then I looked on it. And uh, this little bracelet is 925. Uh, it probably needs to be put on a mandrel and really worked on it is stamped on the inside of it 925 mexico 925 mexico <laughs> ay 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 okay 925 mexico now it is like super soft okay you're going to get this bracelet to go with the starting bid on this bracelet that you're buying is going to be $5. And yes, that is $5 on this Sterling Mexico bracelet, 925. Very, very, I don't even know that it weighs anything, okay? Kristen is in at five, but it is tapped in here. It says 925 and it says Mexico. And then you'll get this other little bracelet to go with. Just because. I don't know what it is. I don't know. 
Belinda's in at six. Belinda is in at six. That's my page. Thelma is in at 10. Hi, Thelma. How are you, my friend? Thelma is in at 10. Remember, I am not selling this bracelet. I'm giving it to you as a gift. This one is a little sterling silver bracelet that says Mexico. Okay. Thelma is in at 10, y'all. 10 is the bid you have to go over. 10 is the bid you have to go over. I did not test that to see if it was some kind of, of uh, Bakelite. It doesn't have the feel of Bakelite to me. And I have a lot of Bakelite, so I kind of know it pretty good. So anybody coming in over $10, I'm looking for a bid over $10. This is number 17. Number 17. We're at 1050, y'all. 1050. I just have so much cool. I just don't know what to pick next. We're at 1050, y'all. Hi, Faith Robin. Are you feeling any better, my friend? Mm, that one's cool. That one's at 13, you guys. $13. Thelma is in at 13. 13. Just remember that one really needs put on a bracelet, Mandrell, and worked on. You'll have to get your sweetie to work on it. So, Miss Thelma is so soft, but it is marked 925. Mexico, it tests as silver. So, uh, designs is out. Belinda, are you done, sweetie? I'm going once at $13, y'all. Going once at $13. Make sure what Miss Belinda says. Oh, did you say something above? I'm sorry. Out to Thelma. I see. Duh. Sorry. I see you. We're going twice. There we go. Final warning. And yeah, Faith Robin's in the hospital. She says she's hopefully going home tomorrow. Good deal. Final warning. I hope so. I hope so. This is number 17, 925 ring uh, bracelet with bonus bracelet. Sold in five, four, three, two, one, to Thelma. Thank you, Thelma. There we go. Okay, guys, I have these beads. My eyes are like wonky. I know it's just allergies lately. They are on, they are on this, on a chain. They have no markings at all on them. They are magnetic. Well, the chain is magnetic, okay? Still just on liquids, okay? They're really nice. They could use a good polish. We'll just slide this around it. Uh, it's got a spring ring. Thank you, Thelma. I'm sorry. I don't know if I said thank you or not. I'm sorry. $24. I appreciate it, ma'am. Very, very much. 24, do your kid? are you guys on spring break? I know some schools are on spring break. Our kids had spring break several weeks ago, but they'll be out for Good Friday and stuff like that. But anyway.
Yeah, it says nothing. Okay, they're 24 inches long. Starting bid is going to be $4. $4. They're really nice. I mean, like really nice beads. Graduating metal beads on a chain. They do have magnet. They are magnetic. Starting bid, $4. 24 inches long. 24 inches long. Starting bid is $4. Very pretty. We got Patricia in at four. This is number 18. Silver tone graduating bead necklace. Patricia's in at four. Yes, it is very pretty, isn't it? Lisa still is in at 450. Lisa is in at 450. Oops, sorry. Whoa, that looks better. <laughs> that lot was washing me out real bad, wasn't it? Patricia's back at five. You know what? Let's see. There we go. Patricia is back at five. Lisa's back at 550. I actually feel really, really good. Really, really good. I had a little bit of AFib the other day, which I was just like shocked because I haven't had it in so long that I'm like, hey, wait, what are you doing here? <laughs> I thought I was done with you. Uh, but I will tell you, I had ate some turkey bacon. And I'm sure it was probably nitrates in it that might do it. So, anyway. But yeah, I feel real good. I've declared this is my year of health. I am not. Yep, I am going to be better. We're at six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Miss Patricia says six and a quarter. I'm drinking unsweet tea. I don't drink pop very often. Lisa's in at seven. When you only have one kidney, you don't drink a lot of pop. Because <laughs> if you do, then you're in pain. You're then you're in pain. Um. Yeah. I didn't check the label on this very well. This was some turkey bacon I got at Aldi's, actually. So, it may not have been nitrates. It may have just been sodium. But, anyway. There we go. We're at seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. My thing is not liking me playing with it very well. Maybe... My big ring light went out, and it always sat behind my desk and faced this way, but it went out, and it's laying up there, so I have another one over yonder, but I don't want to move it, but um, I'll get one in town, so you have two, but still don't drink soda, well, I used to drink tons of soda, like tons and tons of soda. And one of my doctors scared me real good. We're at $8, you guys. $8. He told me if I wanted to end up on dialysis before I turned 30, I would cut out those, uh, uh, keep drinking those sodas. Anyway, so we're going once at $8. Lisa's at 8 We are going twice at $8. This is my final warner. Thank you, Miss Patricia, for letting me know that you're out. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. And we're sold for eight dollars to Lisa Still. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Miss Pat. Eight dollars, Lisa Still. That is number 18. We're getting close to another giveaway. What do we want to do next? Oh, I do know what I want to do next. Let's see if we can find it. Find it, find it, find it. What is that? Oh, that's a butterfly. 
little butterfly, you don't need to be in there. That little butterfly came off my sticker thing. Huh, that's interesting. Didn't realize I had that in there. Where did it go? Where did it? There it is. Okay, guys. Y'all saw this. I done it. I hauled it. This is so pretty. Look at that. It is a stretch bracelet. It's a little, little, little tight for me. You can, I can see little places where it separates. Look at that. Okay. I got to turn just a little bit of light there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous with those roses? These are metal. It is metal. It is stretch. Oh, wow. For Passover? Okay. Starting bid is going to be $5. $5 on that bracelet. It is gorgeous. 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 That one is pretty. Hmm. And because I like to throw things together, y'all know I do. I'm going to put this little 925 plated ring in with this. So you get a bracelet and a ring. So pretty. So, so pretty. Starting bid $5. There we go. We've got Angie in at $5. I sometimes wonder if some of my friends that come here come to see what kind of words I make up. <laughs> because I might make up words. Like gorgeous. <laughs> Beautimous. We have Angie in at five dollars, you guys. Anybody else coming in on this bracelet? This bracelet is gorgeous. It, it really is. I considered keeping it, but if y'all could see my jewelry, y'all would know I have way too much. I don't do anything halfway. Hey, Mary Pelletier, how are you, my friend? We're going once at five dollars. This is number 19. We're getting close to another giveaway. We're going twice at $5. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold for $5 to Angie Real Real. Thank you, Angie. Rose bracelet. Bonus ring. Five dollars, Angie the real. I'm doing good, Miss Mary. I think I'm gonna take that to my booth instead of putting it in. Let's do another piece of silver. How about this one here? So we have a, I believe it is a. 20 inch chain, but we'll make sure. Oh, it's only 18. We have an 18 inch chain. We have this. Uh, remember, I said the ring jump ring is not sterling. Okay. I couldn't find a sterling jump ring. It says, He who holds the key can unlock my heart. Okay. And let's see if we can get it to show. Stupid thing. There, we go. there you go. It says Sterling right down there. There you go. Okay. Starting bid on this is going to be $9, guys. $9. Oh, yeah. Me and Dave are both real hard sticks. He had blood work the other day, and he, they stuck him, and nothing came out. I mean, nothing. 
She was like, I can feel it. It feels like it's right in there. But it wasn't working for her. You know what? I'm just about tired of this. Let's just turn it off for a while. There we go. And if we need it, we'll do it that. Just like that. Let's see what it does now. $9 is the starting bid on this sterling silver necklace with the chain. There. That's a little better. Although, that makes it really bright right there. Right there, that makes it really bright. There we go. Belinda's in at 10. She just jumped right past that one. There. Let's see. Belinda's in at 10. That's a little better. Ten dollars. I swear, y'all. I promise you. When Dave was when they when we had to take Dave to Oklahoma City, and they were having to do some pretty serious sticking. <laughs> Uh, they had what they called a stick team, and they would come in with a with a um, ultrasound machine, and there were like four people on this stick team, and they would ultrasound his veins, and then they would all have their little part they did, and I mean, they'd be in there like less than a minute and have him stuck and out of there, so we were very impressed, <laughs> very, very impressed. So, he's like, everybody needs a stick team. Especially to get blood out of me. I know, especially to get blood out of Dave. So, we're going once at $10, you guys. Going once at $10. We're going twice at $10. Twice at $10. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Belinda for ten dollars. This is number twenty. Uh, heart nine two five heart necklace. Ten dollars, Belinda. S. <laughs> guys it's time for another giveaway y'all ready for another giveaway this is number 20 oops ten dollars oh yeah um uh, the artificial sweetener in in uh in in uh um Diet sodas are one of my biggest, biggest uh, triggers. So, okay, giveaway C and D. Here we go. I will tell you here. I will tell you when to start, okay? Give. Oops. Give away. Oops. Start. Pick a number between 1 and 100. There we go. Okay. You do not have to be subscribed to my channel, nor do you have to like my channel, nor do you have to buy anything from this auction. In order to win, okay, in order to win, um, the only thing I really need from you is if you win something that has to be sent to you, I will need you to be registered so I know where to send it. So I can converse with you. Okay. So put your number in. We'll pick one number and only one number. Put only put in one number. Okay. You only need one number. We'll pick two numbers and we'll give away two prizes. Giveaway C is a real pretty little necklace. 
that has actually do I have yep I have one necklace here that has Uh, rhinestones, red and blue, and then giveaway D, we always do two at a time, giveaway D is three pairs of green earrings, okay, three pairs of green earrings, we have peridot colored, probably could use some fresh hooks on them, uh, we have green pearls, and we have a green blister pearl of some sort, okay? Green, green blister pearl. So, y'all check your numbers. Change them if you need to. Uh, Barbie's not your mama, so she's not going to tell you, okay? Hey, Triple Jen. Jen, I have something that you bought several weeks ago. I never sent you an invoice on it. And I've been meaning to message you to see if you still wanted it. It was a little stone necklace, and it was $3, and I didn't invoice you because I hate to invoice you for $3 and charge you $4 shipping. That's just my my big to-do thing. So, anyway, let me just go look. Right there it is. So, just let me know if you still want it or not. If you don't, we can put it back, and it's not a biggie. So... Or if you buy something else, we can do it all together. So, but I've just, I've been holding on to it. Look, and I've, it's, it's tangled up, but it's those little, uh, you've got a little lap, uh, soda light, quartz, and quartz. Okay. So, here you go. Anyway, but I knew that you would know why I didn't invoice you because, you know, I don't like to do that there. It's not tangled no more there. It's really pretty. So, anyway. I've just been holding on to it. So, we're at number 20. Guys, this light is driving me nuts. Let's see if I can move it where it does a little bit better. Hold on. Than it's doing tonight for me. Sorry if I make y'all dizzy. I'm not too. Okay. I don't care what you do. You're just for my phone and I'm not using my phone. But let's see what you do. Mm. It's really hard because I don't have enough strength in my hands to hardly hold on to that thing. There we go. Oh. oh my gosh there there that's better okay so now let's see what all I knocked off into my lap here there we go somebody needs to come and clean my office but I would have a nervous breakdown so anyway y'all know how that goes he's eating popcorn that's not right Anyway, everybody got your numbers in? Get your numbers in, everybody. There's Michelle. Michelle's got her number in. Get your number in. I'm fixing to say stop. Fixing to say stop, and we're going to pick a number. I'm going to pick a number. There we go. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch my phone up to me. Ha -ha. There we go. There we go. Live. Everybody got it? I see. There we go. 18. Let's go up here and see what we're looking at. Okay. I see a bunch of numbers up here. Here we go. Okay. Stop. And I did not mean to type that in all caps. There we go. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 100. Number 12. 12. Okay. Now, I do see that Michelle is at 18, but let's go up here and see. Uh, 
Designs is at 13. Hey, Froggy, I didn't see you come in. Uh, Kristen is at 13. That's only one away. R and R, Kristen had it first. I'm sorry. I hope I don't know if you got a chance to change it or not. If you did not, go ahead and change your number for now, so that it will be good for the next drawing. There we go. Okay. Are we blurry? I look clear on my phone, but I mean that's on my phone. So, okay. The first winner is. Kristen, and Kristen, you won this one right here, these uh, blue and red necklace. Kristen, there we go. Kristen Designs. She had number 13. Rommel, go ahead and put you in a different number, okay? Uh, necklace. Kristen Designs. There we go. Now, here we go. Let's pick another number. Pick a number between 1 and 100. Pick a number. Wait, come on, phone. Pick a number between 1 and 100. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. There you go. That's good, Rommel. It's not going to win, but you got another number put in, so that's good. Forty-eight. Tammy H. is at forty-four. Ooh, Polly's at forty-five. So we have Polly three away at forty-five. Forty-eight. Fifty-four is six away. So, Polly is still closest, O oh, at 45. Triple C is at 47. She is one away. And I believe Triple C has it. Triple C. I got you, Miss C, 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 C. Green earrings. Yep, we got you. There we go. C, 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 one. C C C C C C. Green earrings. There we go. Okay, congratulations, everybody. Let's see what time is it. It's seven forty-three. We've got about an hour and a half. Let's do this silver bracelet. How's that sound to you? Silver bracelet. There is no weight to this. Okay. I mean, like no weight. Oh. <laughs> You said hello back when you started being watching all that time and I never saw you. I am so sorry, Froggy. 3.1 grams. 3.1 grams. Thank you. I am sorry about that. 3.1 grams. It is a little sterling silver chain. There you go. And I don't know what you even call that link. It is Mark 925. You can almost see it there. I cut my fingernails last night at church with a pair of fingernail clippers that were horribly dull. So, that's why they look really bad. Seven inches long. Seven inches long. Starting bid on this is going to be $6. $6 on the little sterling silver bracelet. Seven inches long. No way. No way. No, it doesn't weigh very much. So. Where is my friend Cheryl Siver? She loves. She loves. Sterling silver bracelets. We have Belinda in at seven. I bet she's off with Dale somewhere. She's been traveling and going and staying with him now that it's getting springy time. I still think my light's just a little bit bright. There. Oh. Here, Cindy. Let's do this. It has a button that turns the brightness up and down. Goober. She's a goofy, goofy goober. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Actually, I was so sorry that somehow I had missed. Ooh, I got blurry there. There we go. I got real blurry there. I had missed that your daughter had been having tests. I'm sorry that I missed that. It sounds like it turned out real good, though, if I understood what I read the other night. Is that correct? We have Belinda in at seven. This is number 21, a sterling bracelet. No, I don't think it's a Figaro. Is it? It just looks like a link, just a plain link to me. Just a plain little link. The Real Reel's back at 8. Angie's back at 8. Belinda's back at 9. Belinda is back at 9. Looks like an oval Rolo. Okay. Uh... I believe you. <laughs> it's just a cute little bracelet. It came out of, what did it come out of? A Goodwill bag? A Goodwill bag at the Goodwill store. So, I still have one more to go through. I have the package to go through for Darcy. I have still have another package to go through from Hoarders Haven. So, yeah, I've got three. Scope down her throat and up the other way, too. Yeah, just rejoice. It's not what they originally thought. That's good. That is good. Now, how old is she? How old is she? Sixteen. Goodness. So we're at eleven dollars with Belinda. Eleven dollars with Belinda. That sixteen is her answering my question. She's not bidding sixteen, okay? Six, eleven dollars. Sixteen is a hard age, especially to be sick and have issues when you're sixteen, because you feel like you're almost an adult, but then when you're sick, you want your mama real bad. <laughs> so they thought it was a tumor, but it turned out to be a hematoma on her pancreas. So. We have $11 with Melinda. Are you done, Miss Real Real? Angela? Miss Pris? Are you done, my friend? Doop, 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 doop. Angie, Angie. She passed that. We're going once at $11, guys. We're going twice at $11. Final warning, final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Belinda for eleven dollars. Thank you. I had all those kind of tests run when I was seventeen. Uh from Christmas until after Valentine's Day, I ran a fever every day. Every day. And so they kept giving me antibiotics and I kept kept uh, having issues. And so they ran all those tests. They put me to sleep too. So $11. I've told y'all this before. When they did that, they they did the first uh, OBGYN exam I'd ever had. 
and they didn't tell me they were doing that, but they got my mom to sign to do it. Anyway, when I woke up and they told me that everything looked okay, I was so mad. You didn't tell me they were doing that. Oh, I was so angry with her. So, anyway, I think at that age I was old enough to have been told. But she also she also knew that uh uh I would have react that way. So <laughs> she knows me very well. So anyway, my nose is itching so bad. You can tell they've cut my grass because my nose is itching. So anyway, here we go. These are vintage, I do believe. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. Y'all know I like them. <laughs> when I say gorgeous like that, y'all know I like them. They're more than gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Here we go. Okay. Let's do this. Mm -mm -mm. here we go okay there we go <gasps> look at that look at that right, that's pretty. here we go I'm going to show it to you so we have this big rhinestone with the coated bead bicone beads yeah yeah I have to go Friday and have one of those uncomfortable exams so this is from my trip to the ER a month ago so see what if we're showing anything going on but anyway so here we go this is clip on here's here's what it looks like on your ear it hangs real pretty starting bid on these is going to be four dollars these are really pretty There you go. Really, 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 really pretty. And they are clip-ons. You have a solid AB coated rhinestone with the bicones coated in AB. Very pretty. I feel like they're vintage. Four dollars, guys. Aren't those pretty? Anybody? Nobody? Okay, I'll put those on somewhere. Etsy, probably pass on them. Oh, Jude's in at four. Jude is in at four. Hey guys, the plan is normally this would be the week for uh for us to have our craft sale, but uh, April is sick. And uh, so we're going to have it next week is the plan on the 20th. Okay, this is number 22, AV coated earrings. Yes, they're very pretty. We're going once at $4. We're going twice at $4. This is our final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five. Four, three, two, one. Sold to Jude for four dollars, and this is number twenty-two. Four dollars. There we go. You just got rebooted. Oh no, rebooted. Thank you, Jude.
so much pretty stuff. Okay, anybody interested in the charms? I've got three bags of these charms left, and they're five dollars a bag. Uh, that one is all silver, all silver. These are the charms that go in the little charm necklaces. This one is all gold tone, gold tone. When I say silver, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why you wear brassieres, okay? These are gold tone. So I had a silver tone, gold tone, and this one is all silver tone. And this one is all silver tone, okay? And these are the little charms like the Origami Owl. There are more than 25 charms in each package. If you check online, the cheapest I could find the charms like selling individually was like nearly a dollar a piece. So, yeah, you're looking at a really good bargain. But there's there's four bags, three, four bags here. Three silver tone, one gold tone bag. And they're five dollars a bag. Okay. Five dollars a bag. And if you want them, all you have to do is say want. And put. Tuck them in your bridge. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so hilariously funny. I would tell y'all a story, but I best not. I, I don't want to get my I don't want to get my YouTube a strike here. So anyway, anybody, five dollars a bag on this on these. All you gotta do is say want and tell me. I only have one gold tone, but I have the three silver tone. Three silver tone. So, okay. I'm going to lay these to the side. If you decide that you would like some, just let me know. <laughs> We're going to move along. Moving right along here. Okay. This one was one that I have never seen. I've never seen this brand. And I'm going to spell it. You can look it up. This is a Zakasha. I never heard of it. Ever. You have these mirror beads. With this long tassel. Long, long tassel. Mirror beads there. Like a blacky, silvery mirror bead. And these necklaces actually sell for really nice money. So, we're going to do a starting bit of $4 on this. But I saw them selling in the $30 range on online. So... And here's another one I had never seen. What are we carping for? There goes Dave's rooster. His rooster is crowing. I'm not fond of the sassy tassels. And if you know, you know. Anybody? No? Nobody? Starting bid, $4. Nope. Okie dokie. I'm okay with that. It don't hurt my feelings. I never heard of this brand either. It's called Vivi Love. V-I-V. -V, Vivi Love. And uh, these two were another brand that sold for nice money. This is a strand of black beads with black gunmetal gray stuff. These look like they have no wear at all on them. Like they're brand new. Really nice. Okay. 
start the bid on these at four two. I just like the name of them, Vivi Love. That's about 24 inches. Starting bid, $4. There you go. They got multiple strands. You got four strands. Here's your hang tag. And it says, in big letters, it says Vivi. And then on the edge of it, it says Love. Vivi Love. Look at this. They hurt my head. They've got a scuff right here, and I don't know if you can have those buffed out or not. What? Go to my room and pull the blanket down and turn my air on low. This is what they say on the side, Versace. They were in a jewelry bag from the dollar, from the Goodwill. Anybody in on the Vivi Loves? We got Vivi Love. If you think you can polish out the scuff on that, I don't know if it can be polished out or not. Uh, and would like these, I don't know anything about them, okay? Nothing. I never even saw anything that has that name on them. Okay, these have numbers, MOD 2101, 1000 over 9 slash 87, 123N, made in Italy. Okay, made in Italy. But there is a scuff right there. If you think that you can get that scuff buffed out or you want these for $6, type in the name of the person I said made them i don't know i'll wrap them I, I probably i might have a case they'll fit in and send them to you but you want okay 23 sunglasses six dollars and you real chewed I will look to see if I have a case, but anyway, I don't wear sunglasses. I mean, I actually have prescription sunglasses that I keep out in the car that I only wear out in the car, but they're prescription for me to drive with. And that's the only time you've been to his front steps. Gucci. <laughs> they were marked Versace. So Angie got them number what did i say 23 there we go okay there we go um here we go this is a cato brand necklace this is big and if you do not know the Cato brand mark, I'll just show you right here. It's a C, and it says 1946 in it, and that is Cato. That is Cato. And, yeah, we're looking at probably maybe 18. Nope, 20 at its longest. Very nice. No, no wear on the faux pearls are on the silver. It looks like it's nearly brand new. Starting bid on this is going to be $4. $4, guys. That is Cato. That is definitely a statement piece. Got to go charge your phone. Anybody. I'm not dawdling because I'm going off at 9 o'clock tonight. So, we've got the real real in at 4. The real real's in at 4. This is number 24. We're going once at $4, guys. We're going twice at $4. 
Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Number 24, Cato necklace. $4, Angie Real. For 24. Okay, guys, I got to change tubs. There we go. Don't fall, turtle. Don't fall. There we go. I thought my turtle was going to fall. Let's see what I would got here. Okay, I got a really pretty necklace. in green and we're going to put something with this we're going to combine something with this this is going to be a combination we have look we have a this is stone whatever this is it's stone very cool um those are faux pearls so we have gold tone faux pearl greens okay here we go Let's see. Here we go. We're going to put this on the, on the thing here so you can still see it. Okay. I'm going to build me a box that's going to sit across that. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> then we have this. This is a brand new necklace in uh, greens, whites, and blacks. Okay. This one is really long. It's made in India. It's probably about 30 inches long. That one's going with this. We're going to start the bid on these two necklaces. Okay, we're going to start the bid at $5. Now, I will add to this. I will add to this. As we go along, I will add, we will make a lot out of this because I have lots of things here that can be added in. Let's see. Let's add in this black lot, this black necklace. This is black and silver. Very pretty collar style necklace. It can go because it matches the green and black and white necklace. There we go. We've got three necklaces in this lot, guys. Nice necklaces. There we go. We've got Triple J in at five. Let's see. Let's add a bracelet. Let's add a bracelet. This one is a very interesting bracelet. I've actually never seen a bracelet made like this, okay? We've got, so it hangs like this. It's got this little dingle dangle, and it fastens like this. Fastens like this. And it hangs like that. And we'll add that little bracelet to it. And we'll just lay it up here. It's a kind of a turquoise green. A little bit different green than the other greens. But it'll work. Okay. Come on. Stop that. You know what? I know I have a better thing than this. I don't know where it is. there let's see i want to do this with that and hold on i was looking for earrings that could go in with that one hmm. well they don't really go but we're going to put them in we have triple j in at five these are really cool dang it if I've not dropped everything I've touched, it makes me just want to just say those words. Dad gum it. There we go. These are real pretty. They are Lucite plastic. Real, real pretty. There we go. We have Triple J in at five. There we go. Triple J is in at five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. 
What did I do with that there? That goes with that. That goes with that. We're going to do another lot after this one. Triple J is in at five. Anybody else coming in? Oh, these need to go with this. Okay, these need to go with this. No, these need to go with this one. I'm working on here. <laughs> that was funny. I will tell you that the next lot coming up, the necklace, one of the necklaces is very magnetic. It started to fall, and uh, my magnets on the front of my thing caught it. How funny is that? Okay, let's see. What else is in here that can go in that? Oh, here we go. Here's something with some color in it. Can Which necklace do you want to see? All of this goes together. Which necklace do you want to see? Okay. So that's a bracelet. This one here is a black necklace. It goes. This one here is a brand new green necklace. It goes. It is about 30 inches long. This one here is a real pretty green and faux pearl stone necklace. The green is stones, probably adventuring with gold tones. So you've got three necklaces, a bracelet, a pair of earrings, and another pair of earrings. Okay. So you've got one, two, three, four, five six items in this slot okay six items in this slot we have patricia in uh lori came in at 550 patricia is now in at six uh triple j's back at seven triple j is back at seven we have and that's all i'm adding to this slot okay I, i'm going to do a black and white lot next So that one will go in there, and that will go in there, and that will go in there. We're at $7 with Jennifer. That will go in there. Lori Hollister is in at $7.50. Those earrings will go in there. We'll put them back in their bags so that they don't get scratched up. Lori Hollister's in at seven fifty. Triple J says she is out. And here's a little pair of green earrings. There we go. There we go. So we have three necklaces, a bracelet, and two pairs of earrings. Is that right? Three necklaces, a bracelet, and two pairs of earrings. Yes. We're at $7.50. This is number 25. This is a mixed lot is how it will be listed. Mixed lot. Mixed lot. Triple J is out. Miss Patricia, are you done, my hun? Triple J, uh, I'm looking to see if Miss Patricia is done. We have Lori Hollister at $7.50. There is going to be a black and white lot next. A black and white lot next. Patricia is out. We're going once at $7.50, number 25. $7.50. $7.50. Number 1 once. Put your mouse where you want to type, Cindy. Going once. We're going twice. Final warning. And we're sold to Lori Hollister in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Lori Hollister for five, uh, $7.50. Lot number 25. There we go. Okay. 
black and white lot. Okay, here we go. Let's pull out this crazy little thing here. Hold on. There it is. Yeah, that one may not be too much better, but we'll try it. Nope, that one's not going to be any better. I remember now why that one is over there. I need to put a new thing on it because it don't even reach down. There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go, black and white. <laughs> okay. Princess for a day earrings. These are white crowns. They are lucite. Okay. Very cool. We have this memory wire bracelet. Starting bid on this is going to be $5, guys. $5. Memory wire. And these are not, these are plastic. Okay. These are plastic. And they are made to look like stones, but they are not stones. They have white and gold. You can see that. So we've got a memory wire bracelet here. Let's see if we can get it to hang. There we go. Memory wire bracelet. Then we have this bangle this bangle black and white and this bangle is big enough for my hand okay this bangle is big enough for my hand although now now that i've been messing with all the things i've been trying to get on my hand it might not but anyway here we go i don't know that that wants to stand up for me there i need to put some Queen for a day so i'm just gonna lay that one down there i'll show it back to you in a minute okay then we have these faux pearls black and white with a really pretty fastener here a box clasp really pretty so we're looking at one two three Four items so far and our starting bid is five dollars so that's just a little over a dollar an item okay now we're going to add in what else are we going to add into this one mm, we're going to add this right in this is very different of all than all of it this is a really really long probably faux suede braided necklace with a dream catcher on it okay so that one will go and that's real long probably 50 plus inches and we have this right here and this is going to be the last thing that's going in and these are little heshy beads with this mother of pearl there and it's etched in it kind of like they do scrimshaw but it doesn't have like a seed scene and then you've got mother of pearl beads okay so here we go you've got one two three necklaces two bracelets and a pair of earrings okay T-pins. Oh, I can hang T-pins. Oh, you know what? I have some. Not T-pins, but I have some real hat pins that I could do up there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put in one more pair of earrings. And these are all multicolored bead lever back earrings, okay? Starting bid on this lot is four, uh, $5, okay, guys? $5 on this one. And you've got one, two, three necklaces, two bracelets, two pairs of earrings. So three, 
four, five, six, seven items in this one. Seven items in this one, guys. Seven items. Starting bid was five dollars. And I have one more thing I can add to this if we go up. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add it. It will be. I'm going to add these Vivi Loves. Triple J's in it. Five. I'm going to add these Vivi Love beads. I started these while ago at what? Five dollars? Four dollars? So I'm going to go ahead and add them in. So that's one more necklace. So here we go. I don't even know what that says. There we go. Okay, we have Triple J in at five. Patricia's back at six. Patricia is back at six. Trisha is back at six. Guys, I'm just clearing off. We got Triple J in at seven. I'm just clearing off my desk, okay? Totally. We're going to add this Zakasha in. Remember I said they sell in the $30 range? There you go. Zakasha is in there. Uh, Triple J is in at seven, ma'am. Triple J is in at seven. What's that say on the back of it? Patricia is in at eight. Y'all just like y'all just like for me to do big lots. I just I know that's what it is. Y'all just enjoy the lots. Uh, let's add in. They're not black and they're not black and white uh triple j's in at nine let's add in these and i believe these earrings are probably paparazzi but i don't know that for a fact they did not come in any kind of a notebook or any uh, package or anything they just actually i had these i was going to keep them and then i looked on my jewelry tree and saw that I have two pairs nearly just like them. So, there. This is a good size lot, y'all. This one here is a good size lot. I've done lost count of how many. We've got one, two, three pairs of earrings. Two bracelets. One, two, three, four, five necklaces. We're at $10, guys. Five necklaces. Uh, how about I add in this right here? Let's add in this brand new Relativity necklace. Relativity, it has a $16 tag on it. There we go. This one is a good lot. We're at $11. $11. Real Rules in at 12. Real rules in at 12. Oh, I found another one I was going to add. This is the one that I promise you is magnetic. 13. Triple J's in at 13. <laughs> when it fell off and it got caught. Uh, yeah. It stuck to my magnet. I have big rare earth magnets that um, I use that are stuck here. So here we go. Big long dingle dangles. Pearl thingies crystal looking thingies here we go another necklace okay 13 i keep it up and it's gonna weigh over a pound guys we may be there already this <laughs> is i don't know let's let's do this let's start picking up things uh earrings earrings Earrings, earrings, bracelet, bracelet. We're at 14. Angie passed out. Earrings, earrings. Triple J says she's out. 14. Relativity. 
Zakasha. Let, let's put this back in the Zakasha bag. Nope, that was the Vivi Love bag. Where's the Zakasha bag? Hmm. It's Vivi Love. There, there's the Zakasha bag. We're at 14. Angie's out. Triple J's out. We're going once at $14, guys. one the dream weaver here's the vivi love necklace oops there we go real reels at 14 and a quarter she unpassed out somebody revived her she got smelling sauce at 14 and a quarter There we go. Patricia's at fourteen fifty. I'm gonna get all this in the same bag, okay? Here we go. I love that one right there. I love that with the almost the the little mother of pearl with almost the, the like the scrimshaw. We rose at fifteen. You're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. She's got smelly socks. Who's got smelly socks? There we go. We're at 15 and a quarter. Here we go, guys. That bag is pretty full. 15 and a quarter. I still have some. We are at 16. I still have some silver to get sold. And I still have two more giveaways to do. Okay. I got air in that. I don't want that to be airy. I do not want to ship air. <laughs> We're at $16. Oh, smelling socks. <laughs> False. Oh, smelly socks. Patricia's at $16.50. Yeah, Angie, she always passes out. So, this is a large mixed box. We are at sixteen fifty, guys. Sixteen dollars and fifty cents. I still have some silver to go, and I still oh 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 oh. <laughs> Seventeen. If you sit on an M and M, it will melt and make a mess. I want to know why you didn't eat the M and M. Why would you sit on it? <laughs> You're supposed to eat M and Ms, not sit on them. Goodness. <laughs> Everybody knows that. So, it may not melt in your hand, but it'll melt under your bottom. Is this what you're telling us? <laughs> I think that's what she's telling us. We're at 17 and a quarter. Guys, let's see what this says. I have this little brooch I want to throw in here. Only now I've lost my good eyeball. Where did it go? <laughs> Let's make sure we didn't bag it up somewhere. Because I would be very excited if I lost my good eyeball. Well, we'll use my not good one for now. Okay. It says K and T. K and T. Glory, glory. Where's my good eyeball? K and T. Good night, sweetie. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness I looked in the floor. Somebody had been upset with me. I lost your queen for a day. I dropped one of your queen for a day earrings. I hope you get to go home tomorrow, sweetie. 
I do, I do. I'm looking. Okay. We're at 17 and a quarter. 17 and a quarter. Hi, Rachel. How are you? We're going once at 17 and a quarter. She passed out again. We're going twice. Number 26. This is our final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Patricia Miller for 17 and a quarter. I think Miss Patricia likes opening jewelry bags. I know I do. So. Trisha Miller. There we go. Okay. There we go. What are we going to do? Let's do a piece of... Oh. I have something. Huh. I have something I want to do. Yes, fun. Okay. Guys. I find things everywhere that I do not know that I have. I don't remember where they came from. All kinds of things. If y'all know how unorganized I was, you would just shake your head at me. However, I have this pretty little necklace. And uh, it is very, very short. It is also vintage. It is right at 14 and a half inches long. Okay. This necklace is fine. And this is an Emmons. Emmons. E M M O N S. Emmons. Okay. Very pretty. They are a real deep cream faux pearl with a just a different kind of shape. And the starting bid on this one is going to be six dollars. Six dollars. And if I remember right, Emmons was a precursor to Sarah Coventry. I'm pretty sure that Emmons was a precursor to Sarah Coventry. So Anywho, that's what we got here. Has anybody seen Stall with Pat tonight? Starting bid $6 on the Emmons necklace. Has a hang tag. Has a jump uh, spring ring. 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half inches long. Seven and a quarter on my ruler. Patricia's in at six. This is number 27, Emmons necklace. Barbie's here, or she was. She's probably laying in the bed watching us. But she was here earlier. Patricia's in at six. I'm going once at six dollars, guys. She's a lurking. She's there. She doesn't call it lurking. She calls it silently observing. She thinks lurking sounds really bad. She's looking for her Easter bunny tablecloth. <laughs> Going twice. This is my final warning. And I'm sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Patricia for six dollars. I'm 
My nose is itching. There we go. And I didn't even get to see what my pretty yard looked like after they got it all cut. Okay. Here we go. Let's do... It's 24 minutes until it's all over. Let's do some sterling silver. How about... Let's do this Labradorite ring. <laughs> this ring is a size 6. This ring is a honker. Let me just tell you how much this ring weighs. Now, if anybody's here that can tell me what the mark means, I would love to know. This ring weighs 15.9 grams, okay? 15.9 grams, and it is a size 6. I did not clean this up very well. Okay. This ring has been well loved. You can kind of see on the top that there are what almost looks like scratches across the top of it. They're not cracks, but it just looks like it's been well loved. Okay. It is a beautiful flash to the Labradorite. Um, it has... A treble clef as its mark. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what a treble clef means for your mark? And then it looks like it says mom on the side of it. Has a treble clef. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's not a treble clef. No, nope, it is not a treble clef. Okay, let me draw it. Because I'll never be able to show it to you. Um, do I even have any paper over here? No, nope, I don't have no paper over here. Hmm. There. Okay. Let me look at it again. It really does almost look like a treble clef. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looks like this. Okay. It's like a P in a circle, and then this little this little dot down here at the bottom is actually not filled in. It's just hollowed out, and that's, this, that's the mark in it. And then under that, I believe under it, yes, under it, it says 925. And then right beside it, oh, it says India, India. No, it's not a premier design mark. It says India right beside it. Okay. Starting bid on this is going to be $15. 15 Got Ashley in at 15 <laughs> It is a size 6, guys. I do not know what that mark is. And I brought that too far down. Too deep. There. That. Uh, Patricia Phoenix, you are not registered with me. You have to be registered in order to bid. Yeah, you have to be registered in order to bid. I don't think you've ever registered with me. You have to be registered in order to bid. Unless you have registered with me under another name that I'm not recognizing. I will go and look here and make sure that you have not registered, but I do not recognize your name. So, I swear, if Google hasn't been so slow, hold on, hold on, there you go. It is a size six, guys. Miss Mary, hold on, because 
at the moment you're winning the bid at sixteen dollars okay No, that won't work because my thing. Sent it this morning. Okay, I got Deb the RN. I do not have you at all, Patricia Phoenix. I'm looking to see if you went over into my spam folder for some reason, but I can't imagine why. Yeah. Sent starred. Yeah, I have you dead the RN there. Hold on. I found the spam folder. Because I want to be completely fair about this. Yeah, I don't see you anywhere. You're welcome to send it back in now if you want to. You're welcome to email it to me right now if you want. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I do not have it. Okay. So, yeah, just go ahead and do it again and i will accept her 20 dollar bid guys i will accept it um but i i will have to have that before we finish the auction go ahead and go ahead and send it now it's cindy loves jewelry ar at gmail.com there you go go ahead and send it and i did get deb the rn so Mary Pelletier is out. I don't know if she's still here or not, but I do have you dead the RN. And you sent everything that I needed to know. Mary is out. Yes, you could probably have it sized. It is a nice ring. Beautiful, actually. The stone is a labradorite. It is a labradorite. And it flashes very pretty. It weighs 15.9 grams. 15.9 grams. Very heavy. For a ring, that's a good weight on a ring. Nope, oh, Labradorite. Right now, uh, right now, Phoenix, ha uh, Patricia Phoenix has it. As long as I get her information before this auction ends. Ashley's in at 21. Ashley is in at 21. Ooh, I'm hot. Guys, I usually never let them turn the air on until May. Yeah, just wait just a minute. We're going to give her a little bit to go ahead and register. Just wait. Okay? Just wait just a minute. We'll give her a minute to register. And uh, we'll see. Go from there. Otherwise, then we'll back the bid up to 16 at Mary. So, give her just a little bit to get registered. But yeah, it didn't show up anywhere in any of my emails. Is anybody besides myself? Just hold on, yeah, just hold on. Ashley, hold on just a minute. Anybody beside myself having any trouble with your Gmail syncing on your phones? My Gmail has not been syncing on my phone for my Cindy Loves Jewelry address. 
it's up to date on my on my regular address but it's not syncing on my phone so then i can't check emails for this on my phone okay belinda we are bidding on a labradorite size six ring the bid right now is at 16 dollars. we are waiting we have hold on hold on michelle can you hold on just a second yeah yeah it don't it don't do it i've tried it and tried it it don't do it it'll refresh and it'll show me back to march the 22nd there we hold on Okay, so Mary had it at 16. Hold on, guys, because we've got to back this auction up. Mary had it at 16. Yeah, we're waiting to see if she's going to register. Not Mary. Mary's been registered for a long time. So let me just see here. Double check in. Nope. Nope. One didn't work. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I did a search by your name, hun, so to make sure that I wasn't missing it, so, in my emails, so, I did, did do a search by your name, so, okay, you just, Deb, I got yours, I have yours, Deb, the RN, yeah, I got yours, but I don't have Patricia's yet, so, And I got Lisa Steele. She was new tonight. Oh, here we go. Okay, hold on. Okay, sweetie, that's fine. Uh, we are at, we're going ahead with that 20. Well, we're at 20. Let's see. Let's go back to 16. Let's go back to 16. 16 is the bid, okay? 16 is the bid. And Mary Pelletier has it. So we're going up from there, okay? If I get your information between now and then, you're welcome to bid, okay? But I just have to go with what it shows. And since that is my rule that I need you to be registered before you bid, I have to stick to it. So I'm not trying to be ugly or mean or anything like that. It's just I have been stuck with people that bid that never register. In fact, I had a girl come in and buy a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so there we go. It's still not showing up for me. So here we go. Okay. We're at 16. Okay, size 6, Labradorite ring. Yes, size 6. The bid is at 16 with Mary Pelletier, and we'll go up from there, okay? Yep, yep. Belinda came in at 18, so that would be the next bid. Belinda's at 18. Right now, Belinda has it at 18. So you can bid over that. However you want to bid, guys, we're at, it's a size 6 Labradorite ring. Belinda has it at 18 right now. Belinda has it at 18 right now. Ashley is at 20. Ashley is at 20. Yes, this is the ring that I showed in the earlier video. 
This is the ring I showed in the earlier video. No, this is not the ring I showed in the earlier video, is it? Didn't I show? I thought I showed just the quartz ring. Yeah, I showed the rose quartz ring and it has already sold. This one is Labradorite. They're actually the exact same style, but this one is Labradorite. And that other ring was a six and a quarter. Okay. The other ring was rose quartz and it was a six and a quarter. This one is a Labradorite and it is six. But they were the exact same style. Okay. The exact same style. Yeah, I just showed the rose quartz in the thing. So we have Ashley in at 20, you guys. I'm just watching. I'm watching to see if it, because it keeps refreshing. Okay. Ashley is in at 20. Sorry. 28. This is Labradorite. 925. Ring. Okay. Yeah, the other one was six and a quarter. It was rose quartz. This one is Labradorite. And like I said, it looks like this one has been worn. Like the um like maybe there's just some scuffing on the top. I I don't know about stones, but then I look at it and think, no, it's not worn. If you could just see it in real life, it is so gorgeous. Okay. It really has a flash. So we are at $20 with Ashley. Is anybody else coming in on this ring? If not, I'm going to start calling it. Belinda, are you done or are you still waiting? Because I'm going once at 20. Going once at 20. The blue on this, the, just the flash on this is amazing. Amazing. Just want to make sure Belinda's out. I'm going twice, guys. Going twice. Going twice. Out to Sweet Ash. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Ashley for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Number twenty-eight. There we go. Okay, I have, okay, before we do the, the bracelet, we're going to do this. I have this beautiful pair of pink, soft pink, uh, freshwater pearl earrings, and you can tell they're not exactly symmetrical and all that so we're going to start the bid on these at well, start the bid at five dollars okay because they are not symmetrical but they are fresh water and seriously if they're one on each side of your face and they're that close that they notice <laughs> they're too close. <laughs> Starting bid five dollars on these. Uh, and the metal is just gold tone. They have rubber stoppers. She's back. We're in number 25. Next up is going to be the uh, pearls with the 14 karat gold clasp. Okay. And then we're going to do the 925 clad ring. And then we're probably going to be done. 
Okay. Nobody? Nobody want those for $5? Freshwater pearls in a pink color. $5. Really pretty. Okay. I'm going to pass. Going to pass. This is number 29. Here we go. I have this right here. You know, again, we have double strand of pearls. These are not, they're not perfect in any way. They are very ununiform. Okay. We have a 14 karat gold clasp in it. I do not know if you're going to be able to see this. So we're going to try. These are Marsala. Okay. We're going to try this. Can y'all see? Did I turn it wrong? There we go. 14 karat. And they have the Marsala symbol. Okay. And they did test. Let's see how long they are. Mm, looks like about seven and a half. Starting bid on this bracelet is going to be $15. And you're like, what? Okay, guys. I know it's 14 karat gold. They ain't enough of this to even create any kind of weight and personally trying to fasten this bracelet would make me nuts there we go fifteen dollars y'all fifteen i found those in a bag so i mean paid forty dollars for the bag and i've done sold enough out of it to pay for the bag so that's why we're starting low fifteen dollars on the Real pearls. These are real pearls with a 14 karat gold fastener. Okay. Real pearls, 14 karat gold fastener. This is it. This is all I have. The 14 karat gold fastener on this. That's it. That is it. 14 karat gold fastener on this there it's marked 14 karat and it tests and that's it i don't find gold very much i really don't and i prefer not to <laughs> andrea's in at 15 andrea's in at 15 Andrea is in at 15. I have a beautiful sterling silver Irish clad all ring that is marked uh, Irish on it. And it also is made ISP. Why do I not like finding it? Because I don't like selling gold. I, I, don't, in, I don't enjoy wearing gold. And I just, it's not my thing. And uh, I prefer to find silver and sell silver all day long than I had gold. Plus, if you list it online, people sometimes try to crook you out of it. And, yeah, it's just for, for the first for the first two years that I sold online, I took all my gold and sold it at um, a pawn shop. And I found there for those first two years, I found lots of gold. But uh, uh, I would take it and sell it at a pawn shop. And, and we had a guy that paid really fair prices. And then they fired him because I guess he was paying too fair. <laughs> oh, going once. Going twice. 
Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Andrea for $15. Thank you, Andrea. This is number 29. I could trade it for Starlin. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You're happy to find gold. It just doesn't do it for me. I mean, like, finding this Cladol ring made me a lot more excited than finding that gold clasp. I mean, it really did. So, we have this beautiful Cladol ring. It is marked inside of it, Irish. And then it says, I... Irish, and then it says, I... ISP 925. Okay. Okay, that's fine, Andrea. I will. Okay. Irish clad all. It's a size 11 and a quarter, guys. This one is a this one is a big one. Size 11 and a quarter. Actually 11 and a half. It goes right down to the 11 and a half. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is going to be number 30. This is also going to be the last the last sale, and then we're going to do one final giveaway, okay? Here we go. Uh, the starting bid on this one <laughs> is going to be $13. $13, size 11 and a half, plaid all ring. It says Irish ISP inside of it. It is beautiful. Jude is in at 13. Jude licked this the day I showed it. Jude was in at 13 first. Jude was in at 13 first, guys. Mm, I try. Try my hardest. Oh. Mary's at 14. Judy's at she jumped. Jude, yeah, Ken and Barbie bring good prices too. Jude jumped to 20. Jude jumped to 20. I'm going to lay that right there for just a second. I just want to see what I have over here. Because I put a lot of the stuff that didn't sell in uh, those lots full ago. Hold on. You can't see Jude? She says she's poop out. Size 11 and a half. 11 and a half, Belinda. It is a big one. Size 11 and a half. Okay. It is a clad all ring. You can see Mary. Huh, she can't see you though. Ooh, not that one. Okay. Belinda's in at 22. Belinda is in at 22, guys. Belinda is in at 22. Jude is back at 24. There it is. Oh, scared me. Where in the world did my little bitty thing get off to? You? 
And Belinda is out. Belinda is out. You got banned to talk chat. Okay. Crazy machines. Are you okay? So Judy's at 24. Are we done? Everybody done? I'm going once at 24. I'm going twice at 24. This is my final warning, guys. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Number 30 is sold to Jude for $24. Thank you, Jude. Thank you, thank you. Giveaway time. Pick a number between 1 and 100. This is totally a Cindy Loves Jewelry giveaway. It is not sponsored by YouTube in any way. This jewelry, uh, this giveaway uh, is by numbers. You pick your number. You do not have to subscribe. You do not have to be uh, buy anything. And, yeah, you've been saving a lot of money lately. So, let's see. Giveaway. E and giveaway F. So, giveaway time. Let me show you. This is giveaway E, and it is a strand, a long strand of beads that could use a good cleaning, okay? And you're thinking, why are you giving us away these beads that could use a good cleaning? These are if it'll show it come on come on you can do it there it is it's there marvella these are marvella beads these are marvella let's see here we go question who won giveaway c kristen designs you won giveaway d Kristen Designs won giveaway C. You won giveaway D. Okay, let me go up and see. Hi, Francine. How are you, my friend? We're looking to see who had 71 first. Oh, number seven first. Let's see. I'm going, I don't see 70. <laughs> uh, I show Rachel with number seven first. Real, real, you'll need to change yours. Yeah. Rachel is uh, first with number seven. Real, real, Angie, you'll need to change yours. This is for the Marvella Beats. And giveaway F is... For a five dollar discount okay five dollar discount and we're going to do one final lot okay a final closing lot we're going to call it a spaghetti lot and i'm going to start pulling some things to go in this lot i have some things that did not sell but i also have some things over here that I've not offered that y'all have not seen, and I'm going to pull them, and we're going to do that. We're going to have a big old lot, and there we go, and I'm going to throw in a piece of silver into that lot. And I'll show y'all everything I put in it. I'm going to put that in. That in. Angie Raven has 77. Yep. Raven has 77. You'll have to 
pick a different number again, Ange. So. That. And that. Okay. There we go. 17. Okay. And let's see about a name brand item to go in there. There we go. Oh, and I want those to go in there. Tammy has 44. And Debbie has. Oh, my gosh. Maybe go up higher, like 87, 97, 67. I didn't see a 67. How we got 1 to 50. Let's see. Okay, here we go. 1. I see 37, 27, 17, 7. Uh, 77, 93, 70. Okay. There we go. 17. Deb. Where did I see that one? Yep, Deb, RN. There we go. Stay off our sevens. Okay. Okay. Are you going to put a number in, darling? There. She put in 33, I see. Okay, everybody got your number in? I'm going to say stop. First up is the Marvella beads, okay? First up is the Marvella beads. Yeah, we we've been under tornado warnings all night, so. Pick a number between 1 and 100. Oh my gosh. 17, 17. Deb the RN, I believe, is the one that won that. Deb the RN. Deb the RN had number 17. Yes, she did. Deb the RN, you won the Marvella beads. There you go. Deb RN won the Marvella beads. Marvella beads. Okay, Deb the RN. That's cool. It's her first night being registered, and she won. That's neat. Okay. Let's go back up here. Pick a number between 1 and 100. This one is number 13. Let's go see who's closest on number 13 here we go oh i seen somebody on 13 mary pell nope hold on hold on hold on i was up there in the i was up there in the bidding okay i'm looking for 13 here we go 13 Okay. Okay. Now, Deb the RN has thir has 17 at, and that's four away, but uh, we don't do that. We don't, you're not allowed to win two giveaways in one time. Um, Rachel has seven, that's six away, and Michelle has 18, that's five away. So, Michelle Line is that what y'all see? Michelle Line won the five dollar discount because although Deb the RN is closest, she is not. I don't do you can't win, yeah, you can't win in two things. So, I've got Michelle, is yeah, Michelle Line. Okay, there we go. Minus five dollars, Michelle. You won five dollars and it's 
good for a month okay okay here we go we're doing the final closing lot guys i've got a bunch going into this okay there we go there we go okay i was talking again okay a lot of this i'm not going to take out of the bag you're just going to be able to see it okay so here we go an ann klein brooch okay the the circle's a little misshapen but it's an ann klein brooch that's the first thing going in we have these uh faux tortoise shell earrings that's your second thing we have a disney skate i don't know what it's from but it's a disney skate necklace that's going in and i'm not taking these out so that i can just show y'all what we have oh starting bid on this is going to be ten dollars okay starting bid is going to be ten dollars and there will be a piece of silver in it okay and we've had two name brands so far. We've had a Disney. Oh, I'm sorry. A Disney and a. Oh, that's pretty. Here. I want to show y'all that. See that necklace? Angie made that with stones. Very pretty. She is very, very talented. Okay. Here we go. We have these little enamel almost like christmas tree earrings they're brand new they're from india so we're looking at four items these are cool we have these bangles with the feather and the little ab coated stone that dingle dangles from them there's three of them you love the ice skate that's one one two three four five items then we have we have a glass pendant with matching earrings did not put i did not put the pendant on a chain there's the matching earrings okay Here we go. That's six items. Then we'll see what this necklace is. Ooh, a pretty, pretty heart. Look, a pretty, pretty heart on a chain. That's seven. That's seven. three bangles and these are all the same style they're just different colors and they're small they're two and a quarter inches across where most of them are normally two and a half there's three of those that's package number eight a pair of earrings that have hold on of course that one chain would go across the top silly goofy thing don't do that here we go okay so you have this little enamel flower and you have these chains with these little crystal like beads on the ends that's 10 items 10 items i don't even know we are we're at 12 dollars with deb the rn this one here is really pretty guys look at this look you got this little copper wire thingy and then you got these little glass beads and it's got a a bead that slides down and makes it bigger or smaller that is really cool let's see over there i think that makes what i say 10 11 maybe 11 or 12 i've lost count one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. There's ten. Okay. But remember, some of these bags have multiple things in them. Okay. Some of these bags have multiple things. We have this really pretty twisted gold tone and silver tone necklace. That's eleven. I think I miscounted, but that's okay. I'm okay. Good night, Ashley. Thank you for being here. We have this really pretty uh, gold. Oh, this one is marked. I think this one is Avon, now that I think about it. Nope, it says Korea is all it says. It just says Korea. What does that say? Nope, it just says Korea on it. This is really pretty. You have the flat herringbone with a big old rhinestone. Very nice little necklace. No metal wear on that. Looks very, very good. And I don't even know how I got it in this bag. Not sure how I got it in that bag. 12 or 13. We'll count them all again. We have these earrings. These earrings were marked that they were 925 and the backs, I think, are 925. Um, I, well, I think they're marked, but I don't know if I tested the back because I tested the earrings and they were not 925. Here we go. Uh, yeah, those. This, uh, this shoe clip, this shoe clip, single shoe clip, vintage, it's going. These rhinestone earrings are going. Beautiful rhinestone earrings. We're at $12 with Deb. This bracelet here was Mark Chryselius. Chryselius. And it's really nice. AB coated. This one here is the S. S. We're at $12, guys. We're at $12. I'm looking for another bid of $13 is what I'm looking for. These pearl earrings, pearl earrings, all four of these packages of charms, all four of the packages of charms. I have a little, oh, hold on. Polly's in at 15. I have this real pretty little uh, ring. It is uh, just acrylic. This is just acrylic. It's a real pretty, real nice shaped little ring. It's a size six and a quarter. Okay. Mary's at 16. Okay, here comes the sterling piece, guys. Now, this was a very interesting piece. I bought this from Barbie. It's a size, I don't even know what size it is. I bought this from Barbie, and when I bought it, I knew that it was missing a stone, okay? I knew it was missing a stone, and I thought I might have a stone to fix it. It's almost a six, okay? It's almost a six. It's about a 5.75. Well, the it turned out the stone was a heart shape, okay? The stone was a heart shape. I did not have one. So, I want you to, I want to show y'all what I did. Hold on. I've got to uh, turn the light out for a minute. Here we go. Okay. So I took both stones out. And then I took my pliers and I flattened out the, the um, things that hold them in the prongs. To make them look like that was part of the bow of that ring. And then I cleaned it real good where there had been glue in this. And I cleaned it up real good. And it just cleaned up. And uh, somebody told me they would have never known it was supposed to have stones in it when I showed it to them. So I think it turned out real cute. So, 925. Can't even tell. Thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Here we go. That goes in. Let's see what else we can put in here. Uh, let's put in this American Eagle necklace. Here we go. I'll take it out and show it to you since it is. Here we go. American Eagle. Very nice little necklace. Mary's at 19. Mary is at 19. Oh, this is pretty. Let's put this in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look. Little glass pendant. There we go. Okay, let's see. We're at 19. Let's see if we've got 19 things in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We have 26 items. I'll tell you, if I get a bid up to 20... Oh, no, not that one. I've been hanging on to that one. If I get a bit up to 25, I will add one pe more piece of sterling, okay? I got one more piece of sterling that can go. Uh, this makes 28. 28. And it's a ring. 28. Angie is sharing her channel. 28. We have another beautiful... Deb the RN is in at 25. That's her jewelry channel. We have another that. She has a jewelry sale on Thursday, guys. Another glass pendant. That's 29. We are at 25 with Deb the RN. Here goes in another sterling silver ring. I do want to point out about this ring. I showed this in the hall the other day, okay? This ring is missing some little bitty rhinestones on the front of this. And there are too little for me to replace. See how teeny tiny those are? There are two on the same line. But what's cool about this ring is you can wear it this way where you have a cross on it. Isn't that cool? So, there you go. Another 925 piece. So, that's 2728. Let's see, 27, 28, 29. That makes 30 items, I believe, in here. 30 items. And let's see. Here. I was looking for a biggie, bigger baggie so I could put some in. If you were not here earlier when I told, uh oh, I dropped something. A couple find it. When I told that we're having our craft sale on the 20th, hopefully April will be feeling better by then. So she's been pretty sick. So say a prayer for my friend Boo, Bougie Bear. She is my friend. As my daddy says, she needs the prayer and you need the practice. I miss my daddy. My daddy will be gone four years this year. Dave's mom will be gone five years in no uh, in August. My dad died in August also at the end of August, four days before his birthday on the 27th. So, anyway, but yeah. So, it'll be four years. Dave's mom will be five. She died a year before my dad did. She died. Actually, she died in September, not in August. the first part of September so anyway here we go I'm I'm just stuffing this bag real full so that picture that has been on my uh, 
that picture that I've been using on my on my things. Uh, that is the Father's Day before my dad died because I have pictures of me and him together. They had came and eaten dinner with us. They came and ate dinner. We cooked dinner for my dad and, and uh, me and daddy took pictures together. And I don't know that I've worn that dress since then. So it's still in my closet, but I don't know that I've worn it since. It still fits. It's just, yeah. Anyway. I get weird about things. Y'all know that. So we're at 25 with uh, Deb the RN. <laughs> my uh, my thing, it it expanded. It expanded. We're going once at 25, guys. Going once at 25. I love my daddy. He was, my daddy was my hero. We're going twice at 25. My mom is, she will be, Cute ceramic piece, Angie. My dad, mom will be 77 in May. I will be 57 in August. Number, uh, what is this one? 31. Number 31. We're going twice. This is my final warning. Final warning. And we're sold in five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Deb the RN for $25. Deb the RN, tell me what your favorite color is. Or who's your favorite designer. Or what is your favorite style of jewelry. Since you're new, I'd like to get to know you. So, anyway... Deb the Aryan is the winner. Thank you guys for being here. It was an awesome auction. There was some cool things sold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Miss Mary, for being here. Andrea, everybody, uh, Jude, all of y'all, thank you. You like red or tea? Red or tea? I'm not watching. Red or tea? What does tea mean? Red. Red is my favorite color, too. Red. Deep red. I love red. Okay. Um, so, anyway. Belinda, thank you for being here. Lori, Triple C, thank you. Teal, maybe. Polly, Tammy H, thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Barbie, Jude, Froggy, thank you. You're so sweet. You just sit and watch. I didn't even know I missed you. R and R, Mary P, Angie, the real, real, y'all. I never mean any disrespect when I call Angie Miss Pris. She just, she just makes me think of Miss Pris. But anyway, but uh, if she told me that she didn't like me to call her that, I would stop in a heartbeat. Phoenix. Happy Easter to you. Yes. Happy Easter to everybody. Michelle. Love y'all all. Ashley. I think she's already gone. Thank you, Miss Deb RN, for coming tonight. I appreciate it so much. Let's see. I'm making sure Raven. Thank you for being here. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I say good night to everybody. Did Jamie come in? Rachel Mateo. Rachel Mateo. Rachel Mateo. No, Monteo. Anyway, Rachel, thank you for being here, sweetie. Uh, Patricia Miller. Thank you, my dear friend. So, thank you, thank you all. Y'all have a wonderful Holy Week. It is Holy Week. And uh, there will be a lot red and Southwest style. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So everybody gets a free gift from me. So I kind of like to know how, what people like. So red, Southwest style. Okay. Thank y'all much. Good night. Don't forget Barbie will be on tomorrow. Uh, Angel will be on Thursday night. I guess Thursday night or Thursday. I'm not sure if it's going to be Thursday night or Thursday. So make sure you check out their channels. 
Good night, John boy. <laughs> Here, come on. Come on. Come on, Bubby. Come on, Mother. Come on, Bubby. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. I want to see my shirt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope, he's not. He's not coming. He's not coming up here. Come on, buddy. Here. You want to come say, say good night to the friends? Come on. You want to come say good night to the friends? The friends in the box? Nope. Nope. Oh, the kitties are answering me. Hey, kitty kitties. Our our neighbor, Sammy, she has she has bunches of cats. What? Come on. Oh, coming up here or not? No? Okay. Anyway, one of her kitties died last night. So we're all sad about that. So good night. He's like, he's like, I am not, I'm not coming up there. I'm not coming up there to say that. So bye kitties. My kitty is not very friendly. So, but he does like to trap the dog and and terrorize the dog so anyway <laughs> so good night guys yeah he was big he was so big he could hardly walk i thought he was going to die in my yard he was under my under my azalea bush and i thought he was going to die in my yard so I, went, I told her dad who was standing outside hey go get sammy her cat's over here i think he's sick <laughs> so anyway so good night Eyeball itches. I'm not talking 